do you burn? And I'll try to like touch your burning part. You take one for <laughs> burning part. Oh, 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 I'll show you a really cool trick. Um, Eo's gonna reach out one of her tentacles and like put them on Angie, and then steam immediately starts rising from that area. A lot of steam, unlimited amounts of steam, so much steam. <laughs> oh god. Maybe, maybe we should stop with the steam for now. Oh, oh, oh okay, I'm so sorry. We're still oh. indoors. Feel free to do that outside. You said you wanted to eat some wood? You and my uh, friends will get along, and I'll kind of get a bunch of insects out. And I'll say they can lead you to the woods. You guys can eat as much as you want. Well, what I need is dry wood. Living wood I'd rather not consume. Uh, they'll dry it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Those bugs could do that. Yeah, they can do pretty much anything. Well, I guess I haven't tried a lot of things. I don't know what they can do, really. They just do their own thing. But if you ask them nicely, I'm sure they can do it. Are there any bugs floating around you? Yes, there's always bugs floating You're around. gonna attempt to, like, poke. Um, Cabal is pretty impressed by uh, all of these newcomers' titles, and he automatically assumes that they're gonna they're join convinced. the party. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, oh, for the institute. <laughs> from the institute. <laughs> no, he, he saw them come out of the, the crystal jail or whatever. He's um, he might uh be familiar with like torture chambers and stuff like that. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interdimensional <laughs> torture chambers. He bows graciously and says, "I am Cabal, first lieutenant inquisitor to the institute, to which I am sworn ever to its service when at peace and when at war. These fine soldiers are at my command." Our current target is this individual, and he fi uh, he holds up a very crude drawing of uh, of a man, and his it's like scribbled at the bottom, Robert Flay. <laughs> we believe he is also operating on the name Strad, and then he points to Bartholomew, which is holding uh, <laughs> the Strad stuffed animal, the plush doll. Um, Eo's tentacles go to her face in like a sort of gasping. Emote. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I met him once before. He was very kind. I gave him cupcakes. Wait, how long were you in there? Uh, what year is it? <laughs> Angie, how long were you there for? I actually don't know what calendars these people use. I'm just stalling for time. <laughs> for what? <clears throat> uh, uh, well, well, you see, uh, we we are travelers from a very far plane, and we come to Barovia in search of. And then Eo whispers to Angie, "What are we in search of?" <laughs> Originally, I was here to burn it to the ground, but that didn't work. <laughs> uh, oh. Bartholomew interjects and points at the doll. <laughs> Well, oh, he's turns out I guess we're bounty hunters for uh, hire, so we're gonna join your party. Yeah. Oh, and bounty. by the way, this is Sonic. Uh, Angie, uh, not Angie. Sorry, Eo is going to tug this uh, dragon girl over. She will once again take a deep breath <clears throat> and do the minor illusion drum roll. Everyone, this is. Sonic the Rowdy, head of the Dragon Guard, defender of Zana Nasali, home of the second Dragon Queen, daughter of Israel, the second Dragon Queen, and Imrini, champion of the skies, the first Dragon Queen, and ascended Dragon! <gasps> Thank you. I'll kind of walk up to Eva and be like, uh, are we in an isekai now? Leopold's <laughs> clapping. Isekai. <laughs> As you can what see, we are all of noble bearing, and you should treat us with respect, and we will treat you with respect, should you find yourselves to be worthy subjects or allies by your choice. We will not force you into any servitude. But what are you? That is specifically, a very, very important specifically, question. Specifically you, fire lady. I'll, I'm... I'll absolutely, um, Noah just does not want to acknowledge anyone's name, so you guys are not known as Dragon Lady, Fire Lady, and Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I am a shard of the Ashen Mother, an elemental of fire and earth. Aww. I am here 
in general, to cleanse places in Radiant Fire. The cycle of positive energy and souls must continue flowing, and protection of the natural world is another priority of mine. Did now you write I just wonder why down? the heck you guys three guys were all stuck inside of this inside of that real little gem there. And more importantly, if you didn't come out, we'd be rich. <laughs> well, you see, there was um, fire, uh, lots of fire, and kind of hazy other details. <laughs> yes, my my first attempt at cleansing this land was perhaps a bit rash, and I was stopped by a powerful mage and imprisoned in that gem. How'd you get out? I'm unsure, but I am thankful for whoever managed to break that gem. More of an accident, really. really. But... Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I am here to study humans and humanoids. I uh, built a portal one time while I was just uh, doing some little tinkering and I ended up in this really weird fiery place and I met Iggy! But there weren't any humans around so we went through another portal and then we ended up here! Well, if you're, looking for, if you're looking for humans, there are probably going to be several in this city here at least. I know! I'm so happy! I'm so excited! Wee! A fellow scholar, I see. I'm here to learn also. I'm gonna get some of my bugs to grab onto the squishy and pull it towards me so I can pat it. Yo, uh, Yo allows herself to be pulled and petted. <laughs> <laughs> pets, are, pets are okay. <laughs> Do you change sizes? What are you made out of? What are your properties? Uh, well, hydrogen, carbon, phosphorus, magnesium, iron. Uh, you hear her just list off a ton of elements until you tell her to stop. No, no. <laughs> I'll listen. Nobody it, just keeps going. it just keeps going and going and going and going. She basically lists off, like, I don't know, the entire periodic table. <laughs> that is funny. That's well, I mean, if you guys are going to be helping us. Hey, where did the snake lady go? Snake lady? Where? That uh, is actually a good question. Where did they go? Well, uh, Atreus. They, uh, so, training. You, uh... I guess they needed help, and they they went to help their, her. I think you'll they find at some fine. point, maybe, I don't know, a sticky note on your back or something. <laughs> you will <laughs> see the following message. Hang on, let me find it. Well, actually, I, I think Sarisa got herself like in such trouble with John. <laughs> Where is it? But, to know what this party is uh, Ava, Atreus, Leo, and the rest of them. <laughs> the rest of them. <laughs> the rest of them. <laughs> we'll bother learning all of their Hot. names. <laughs> oh, it says I'm going after Andras. To visit the winery, but keep your mouth shut about it until I return. S. Okay, so at some point, Andreas received that message. Whether by a sticky note or by some sort of other message. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, uh, so, yeah, if, 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 if that was said to Atreus, he's not going to bring up Sarisa. <laughs> well, I'll bring up Sarisa. <laughs> <laughs> Yo is very excited to hear about this uh, snake lady and wishes to meet them in person. Well, I'm sure you would find them eventually. We, well, we can figure that we're there out later. But unfortunately for us, you caught us at a <clears throat> semi bad time, I guess. Oh, really? What's going on? Well, nice us, in par us in particular are kind of a. <clears throat> The target of some night hags. We we're going to just go ahead and deal with them. Actually, I think we we're intending, as he looks through the rest of the party, to return their souls that we, they, that we, well, not us really, that we kind of are in possession of. And hopefully, they'll just leave us alone. But if not, uh, I think I don't have to explain. Oh, oh, 
I see. So, uh, you're, uh, very small and squishy, and I don't know if I want to be putting you in danger like this. I can take care of myself! Ah! And then her, you see her tentacles kind of spread out really wide, and they go, like, 20 feet in either direction. You seem to Actually, be very tanky. Attempts, attempts her best, um, intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Roll for intimidation. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to find it. Oh, I'm apparently very good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> very intimidating. She shows her true form. <laughs> for a moment, you glance into the unspeakable horror of this yeah. death. <laughs> and then one second later, it's over and she's back to being cute. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 wait! How could I forget? Um, see her kind of wave her tentacles in the air. Oh, these are really big, Jay. That's okay. And then you see two jellyfish. Uh, much smaller than her, though. Pop up next to her. Let me introduce you. She points to the white one. This is a well. And she points to the black one. Oh, and this no. is the woo. Oh, no. no. Oh, and also, uh, she, like, another flash of magic, and she whips out a fish bowl with a little tiny goldfish in it. And this is Ara Ara. Oh, whoa, no. Okay, so none of those are actually real names, right? You're uh, joking, right? Um, no. They're actual names. Why? Uh, Atreus well, approaches it's... one of the jellyfish, and will attempt to grab it. <laughs> the, jelly the jellyfish does not put up much of a fight and allow itself to be grabbed as long as it's gentle. Yeah, uh, he he's definitely nice to it as uh maybe this one <laughs> he says to himself. <laughs> Are you planning on riding the jellyfish? I I'll make a joke at Atreus. <laughs> no, of course not. Um, it's too tiny. Yeah, I, I, I don't think physics works that way. But uh, he we he can he's... make it work. <laughs> he he attempts to scratch it's the top of its head. Maybe it's even, it reacts to it in any way, um, shape, or form. A happy bubbly sound. I refuse to say "owo," oh, so your new name is uh white and you're blue now. <laughs> white and blue. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Adrius, let's go the jellyfish. <clears throat> well. Jellyfish, uh, notwithstanding, we still have a, a thing to take care of. Uh, can I expect your guys' cooperation in this? Yo, the hags are Yo in doesn't fact, really know what she's getting into, but she's already nodding. If the hags are, in fact, enemies of yours, and they are, in fact, preventing the proper flow of souls, then they are enemies of mine as well. Okay. I already like you already. Okay, sorry. Welcome aboard. Is Angarka part of the... Uh, oh, wait, what? The trio, or is she completely new? I think they're part of the trio. The trio All three is of a... them uh, came yeah. out of the gem, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. The 100,000 huh? gold piece gem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rest in peace, the money. Very well, I allow your assistance. I don't think that's the proper uh, way to address our alliance. He allows but... I will forgive uh, you this transgression. Yeah, you're good. Kabat doesn't even acknowledge that. Here's you'll go ooh in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and Nova's too clueless to understand what the hell is going on. Uh, a Adrian's just like pats her shoulder, just like uh, just like places one hand on her shoulder. Don't don't let's not bother with this. <laughs> Angarica does There's also no hold herself. No point tries to understand it. <laughs> With quite right. the noble posture as well. Uh, one of her background features is that she is a noble, and it is very apparent that she is noble. Mm hmm. Nice. Uh, Leo approaches her. Like, he, he can barely speak. He almost has actual smoke coming out of her his ears. He almost so what? Sorry, I can hear that part. Has smoke coming out of his ears. Yes. <laughs> He's breathing hard and he goes on. He takes the, the chained chest, like immediately knowing who is, is it supposed to go to. 
and just gives it to, like, kneels and gives it to the uh, Angarica. An, an offering. Interesting. Uh, she will take the chest. The <laughs> oh, pierce <laughs> to the chest. <laughs> okay, not to cut this uh, friendship short or anything, but we should get moving. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, Adria steps out of the, the inn, now donning his uh, helmet. And you have the ball with you, who is still basically at 1 HP. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you have uh, any way of restoring? Do you have the new we character buy, crab, like, or two do you... potions, right? I, I do have uh, uh, another character ready. <laughs> do you want to let Cabal rest for a couple days? I think a couple days is way too much, but... Well, he has a curse on him, so he would suck it. He's at minus four. What, what, what I was thinking is... Uh, um, maybe uh, Cabal would definitely try his hand at you know doing normal, regular life things, and um, find out he's not up to it yet, and maybe let then let Victor... Uh, uh, take over, but maybe next time. Your Victor sheet is up. Yes, <laughs> that's how you said later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get a level one party member. No, that's okay. <laughs> uh, even if it's level one, that's appropriate. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but uh, I I'm okay with using him next time. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen with Cabal for now? Are they going to find? Are they going to heal? Actually, can they have rested during all of this interactions between all these new people? Like a short rest? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it'll be a short rest. To roll some hit dice. Also, be right back, sorry. Yeah. So I guess right before we, uh, as we're interact, we're spending, I guess, spending the hour interacting with these new folk. Uh, I think this would be a good opportunity for you to take that short rest to heal yourself. Just so that you're not at one. <laughs> Yeah, I think Ooh, I'll do food. that. All right, and Chef, yep. Oh, I missed that. I missed it so much. <laughs> can, can, can you season a log for Angarica? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever played Patapon? No. Uh, what other ingredients is different types of wood? Really? Is that a rhythm game? Yeah. Yeah, I played that on the PSP a long time ago. Yeah, that's uh, it was uh, quite a thing. I love but it. yeah, uh, yeah. one of the one of the mechanics is that to create little minions, you have to feed, uh, make food or whatever, and you use things like branches or logs or sticks and stuff to make them. That's so yes, cool. Cabal definitely has ability to season and prepare, uh, wood food. <laughs> nice. And also, over to Short Rest, you managed to tune back to your items as well. Also, during the Short Rest, I guess Angarika is going to tune to the stuff from the chest that Leopold gave her. What's the current uh, the current temp HP? Uh, temp HP? Uh, well, this is just a Short Rest, not the daily one. Oh, so okay. It's, short this rest. is only for uh, um, healing backup. Uh, oh, okay. That's the help. Five then. players, in addition to me, uh, can take an extra D8 when spending hit die. Can we I think to everyone else is already full health, rest or so. only one at a time? You can... Uh, I think it's only one attunement per short. So, probably. You might... If you're going to attune to multiple items, spend time. <clears throat> I, I, I think we should spend the day, rest, and go on the next day. Prepared with everything attuned, everyone healed up. I mean, it only take like three hours for us to do all three. Why can't I get I these know. nice rolls, you know, in uh, times of danger? But that's what would you guys want to take a long before. rest here, really quickly? Yeah, no, I, I mean, that would also get us a Cabal's food bonus, so. Yeah, yeah that's probably and, a good idea. And, you, all right. and Aqua said that once per long rest, he gets rid of some of his curses or whatever. Yeah, so we can at least drop it down from minus four to minus three. Yeah. Shrug emoji. I mean, if you want to take at least one long rest to help uh, 
Cabal get back on his feet, and then we can take care of the thing the next day. That's fine. Okay, let's yeah, do I that really so. quickly. We don't have to do any additional like role playing for it. Just mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we need we need to buy the helmet. Uh, can you can we shell out some uh, so the the money for it? It's four twenty two hundred and fifty. So it, it's it's four thousand two hundred and fifty. So so four twenty five per person. What helmet? Yeah. Wait, what helmet are we shelling out for? Uh, teleportation. It's our con contingency plan. Well, right. He doesn't um, have any money, so... Wait, we're our contingency, contingency plan is to run away? Our contingency plan is to go there. If it, if that fails, we fight. And if th things turn south, we run away. Because otherwise we'll get TPK'd. Fuck yeah. it. <laughs> TP is plan C, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think we're going to make go to plan C, but sure... Like it's I think very... it'd be useful anyway, just as an item, I think. Like yeah, yeah it's useful as an item, but like hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's four seventy five for per person. Four seventy two point two per person. Four hundred and seventy. Hmm. Well, Sonic doesn't have any money. But um Andraste did leave behind the thousand gold. I split uh, it and gave everyone a hundred and well, so, you all can type into the chat how much you're putting in, so that way we can keep track of where you hit the requisite amount. Put the whatever amount we need, I guess. Uh, uh, I can only offer 400. I actually don't have <laughs> money left. This is an item that Atreus is not purchasing, so he doesn't really want to put uh, too much more than anybody else. So 400 that we're putting in, he's going to put 400. Uh, gonna, you need a total of 4,250, so everybody type in the chat how much you're putting to that cost. How much would each person need? Oh. I mean, if we're dividing that by 8, then... Then it's the average about five three one spot two five. Oh, you uh, Oh yeah, after isn't here, so yeah, that, that's that. I'll pay whatever is left. <laughs> oh, five gold pieces. Wow. Hmm. I think it's very helpful. What is that? So far, we got two thousand forty-five. 2048. <laughs> uh, 2000? I'll, I'll, I'll give 600, but. The new total that's been raised so far then is. Let's see. Two thousand nine hundred and fifty eight. Like, how? The helmet teleportation is four thousand two hundred and fifty. No, I, I I know, but uh, how? Uh, who's not five three people from Cabal? That's why we need a uh, party party funds. Like this this right here is not working. Not everybody has gold. People have spent it. Yeah, that's why we needed that saved from the party for the party. I'll 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 give it like uh, if you guys pay me back later, I'll give all of my money. I mean, do you want to wait, wait, how just much, uh... say that we can use on? Okay, who who actually added Andras gold to their gold total? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so Is if you didn't, maybe we should just. Put that money into how much was from my undress because i didn't get that i don't think okay. i put that down um, cabal can put down an extra thousand gold so yeah and she left one thousand for the whole party like one thousand total then just put all of the total in there that would be three thousand nine hundred and fifty eight okay we'll be missing two hundred and ninety two then i've basically offered my maximum 
right? Yeah, Pick I'll, up all ads and find more 292. Oh, nice. Good. Good, good, good. This one was quite the uh, generous chunk of party cash. But pulling it all together, you all uh, see that from the ring of inventory, Evgeny is able to pull out the helmet of teleportation for you. Who will tune to it? I think. Is it attunement action? I don't I'm, think it's yeah, is. It is attunement. Who would like to attune to the helmet or teleportation? I think it's I have me, like right? a lot of teleportation spells, so I don't really don't need this. I don't yeah, think you, I, at this level you have a teleportation at the infinite range, though. No, but I don't have teleportation like a, in the infinite range, but I can get away from shit really easily. Too. <laughs> I, I think that's it enough. should be me because I'm probably the the one that can tank a lot of stuff if I if we get bursted down, right? I do have I an attunement slot prepared. if we need it, but Well, Atreus doesn't want it, so <laughs> I'm, I'm currently uh, I think, I think Ava wouldn't <laughs> put it on just because it kinda looks ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks ugly. Yeah, a Ava has like no armor. She's literally just in clothes. I think that I'd look her. Literally, our characters' names are way too similar, and I, I, I keep fucking messing it up. Okay, it's just no. Ava. <laughs> One of you's gonna and just before... have to change names. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prior, my character's name was Avalon, so I keep like <laughs> getting confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's a canon now that Nola's just bad with names, even her own, I guess. There we go. That That's how we fix it. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah, just I... in character! Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm not an mm -hmm. idiot, I'm just in character, I swear. If, uh... <laughs> I think I think uh, the front line is not a good idea, so I'm not going to use it. I think I think it should be on uh, Angarika. Because aren't aren't you quite resilient? Um, I mean, I'm also planning on like summoning a flame, a flame blade, and running into melee. So I'm frontline now. I will also oh, be fuck. in melee. Okay, so April did take an attune to it, but she's not going. She's she's only going to wear it for actually a teleporting. She'll just attune to it and then store the helmet. Can't we just reflavor it as instead of a helmet, it's a, a tiara bow. or something? What tiara? Like a little crown, yeah. yeah. Make it a sock. <laughs> Dear God. A single sock, not even a pair. Damn. No, no, teleportation shoes. They're, they're like uh, little red slippers. I don't think we can make that many, much of a drastic change on equipment. Yeah, it would probably have yeah. to be a headpiece. But a anyways, sock you wear okay. on your head. A tiara is okay. She could look great. Or, or get this: a, a sock that you fill with silver coins, and it's a magical weapon, also silver. <laughs> wow, nice. But yeah, so if if it can be changed to like a less obtrusive headpiece, Ava will wear it. Otherwise, she'll just attune to it and then stick it in her bag. All right. And then use it when needed. Can we make a tiara, Jay? Uh, can, can we you can't wear a helmet over it, but yeah, sure, you can have a TR teleportation. Cool. Nice. <laughs> it, it, it'll it's just look like the thing in her picture. Eventually. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's basically the thing in her character's picture. Yep. Yeah, and, and it's top. like... <laughs> Alright, uh, so I guess we're gonna go no, ahead and take our long rest so that Cabal can be, get better back up to snuff, and then we can go ahead and uh, deal with the hags next right. thing in the morning. Well, uh, I rolled um, Unsurprisingly excellent when it doesn't really matter much. I uh, rolled 27, or <laughs> 24 people can eat um, what I made today. Today I made uh, uh, steamed mossy cedar planks for everybody. Oh. <laughs> cedar planks? <laughs> Notably, cedar is not an edible wood. Uh, cool, and it's got moss on it too, so it's extra oh. nice. I eat the moss, and only the moss, and after the rest, <laughs> I eat. Oh, All right. Yeah. Uh, how, well, how, how much is the? How 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 high is this temp HP? Ten. Ten? I'm guessing. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was like fourteen a while ago. What's it? I what? It was no. eleven. At, it, at one point, it was eleven. Is that uh, also affected by my death? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is an ability check. So your ability okay. to cook is 
bit worse, but it's down to 24. So. Okay, well, it'll it'll get you 8 HP. It's 8 tempered HP. Okay. Mm. Well, temp HP is temp HP. HP is temp HP. Alright, shall we go? Don't say that. <laughs> yep, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take care of this business. They need to stop bothering us while we're adventuring. Oh, let's not forget to bring uh <clears throat> Irina. We want. Ah, wait. Slight issue. Ava's not seen the windmill, so Oh wait, are we just traveling to the windmill? Like on foot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Never mind. The the teleportation, the helmet teleportation, is a get out. It's basically our get out of jail free. If Wait, we, we need have it. one, two, three. Uh, things. We have three. It starts with three. Also, make sure you have an object from the city. Um, oh, we bought stuff from the city, so we always have objects from here. I have a straw doll if you would like it. <laughs> Wait a second. Maybe we'll just pull one of the posters down from the festival. But making sure she's not being seen, make sure there's no one like around. She'll just take one of the posters for one of the advertised festivals. You're um uh, taking down one of the posters, right? The one about the uh, what is it? The sun, I think it was called. The festival um, of the blazing sun. And as you uh, paste one down, like only seconds later, a uh, employee moves around and places up a new one. A oh, festival of the uh, keeping of the flame. Wow, the festival fast. just for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will send some uh, bl bugs to alert Arena that we're heading. They won't say anything, just be there next to her. Uh, we have nine people with Arena. <laughs> nine people is the perfect number. Basically, heck and platoon. Isn't the question, you're, you're, are you walking by foot over to the windmill, or do you have a faster way of getting there? Do you guys just want to teleport? Mm, no, we probably should you. save those charges. We have 1d3 recharges every day, though. Well, the problem I is we don't have an object from outside of the windmill. Yeah. We do. We, what, oh. Wait, what? We I can, mean, the can. orb is enough, isn't it? The orb will teleport us into the top floor. Inside their locked room. And that may be problematic. If we want to ambush them. <laughs> I thought we were just generally trying to re return the orbs. Yeah, there's right. no, there's so no going need to be into their sneaky private area this. is not a good idea. Yeah, okay. we're not trying to be sneaky about this. I'll just travel then on foot. Uh... Mm -hmm. I'm guessing at some point somebody's going to pick up Irina so we don't piss off yeah. Strahd any further. That's what Nova was handling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully she got the message. Because <laughs> uh, my, my insects can't really speak to her, but they can show up. And she can try to figure it out. <laughs> well, hopefully, mm -hmm. yep. So when all mm -hmm. nine of us are together, and Garika will cast Good Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> nice, mm -hmm. nice. One of these berries is extra spicy, but you don't know which one. With some sort of Russian <laughs> roulette. We're taking this challenge. Um... <laughs> it heals one additional hit point. <laughs> crazy. Wow. For, for, for the record, if 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 Arena can't work out what the bugs are trying to say, Ava will go pick up Arena. Yeah. <laughs> you pick them up then. You're just fine. Right, Arena is okay, with you. But did, did they figure it out? Just you know. No, no, they did not figure out <laughs> the meaning of the bugs. <laughs> in fact, going uh, off as, with... in fact, you, if. Uh, other, unless otherwise you noted that you just find the corpses of the bug nearby. Jesus. They don't really die, they just disappear if you hit them. Yeah, so they... There's no corpses then, they're just not there at all. They never return. They, they poof back to me. Yeah. <laughs> but they're just... too embarrassed to tell me what happened, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well then I will let Irina know next time she sees the white butterflies she should uh take that as a sign to come find us is this an actual ability by the way or is it like wait, wait. just flavor okay <laughs> i mean it acknowledges well sorry 
I get paranoid about the animals around me. All right. Let's head on to your old friend. Well, I know all of you are old friends to begin with. The hag? Yeah, the hags. They were our friends back in no, the, uh, the village uh, of Arabia. Irina always said that the, 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 the hags creeped her, her, her out since she was a child. The lady? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think, I think, I think, yeah, just, just, uh, Granny Morgantha. Yeah. She, she didn't like her. Mm -hmm. All right. You spend an entire day going, uh, past the old Slavich Road. Can we... Uh -huh. What happens if we travel through here? Do you want to travel through the... forest? Um, just based on our adventuring, uh, abilities, how long would it take us to get through this area? Not too long. Uh, it would be a slower pace that I would be. We we know that there's a. Uh, yeah, a yeah, yeah, we know there's a secret there. path too. So where's the secret path? Well, it's not called the not secret path. We know it exists, but we don't know where it is because we never actually took it. Let's just burn the forest. The, yeah, down. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let. <laughs> Come on, slow down, slow down there. Saga. Saga, Saga would be so good here with cartographer's tools and everything else. <laughs> if Are you going to try to go through the forest then? Um, how, how long will it take us? Uh, 25. Or else, you're what, traveling at like 2 miles per hour by normal ish down that mount. So that would be what, 5? Hours? Five hours to get to the windmill? No, no, it'd be so. They get over to. It'd be five hours to get to that spot, and then another five to get through that forest there. And essentially, is it quicker than you know, than us just like traveling around? Yeah, because it would be uh, here after ten hours, versus uh, after an entire sixteen hours. You'd Okay, let's take the forest path. Hmm. Can we try right. to investigate the path as we're going down to see if I miss our Yeah, Atreus will try to use either uh, his survival proficiency or his perception proficiency to try leading the rest of the party through. Mm -hmm. I could also huh? spend some time to ritually cast to speak with animals and ask them the best way through the forest. Okay. Um, you, uh, and do a combination of all these things. Speak with some animals nearby to see if there is a uh, pathway that kind of leads through over to the other side. And animals are, in fact, willing to try and help guide you. Pretty high passive perception. And so you uh, start moving. Ooh, can this be the line we take? The one, the yellow one. That's probably the lowest distance. Whatever the animals deem appropriate. I think uh, it'll be the same either way. I'll just say that. Passive perception. Passive perception. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think it's fifteen. Oh, do you need us to write it down? Uh, no, I'm very just... nervous. Oh, okay. I was just typing it out in case uh, anything tried to jump out at us or something. Or we found the secret path by accident. You, um, uh, are, uh, trying to head through, uh, the forest. When suddenly, at a particular junction, the animals that were previously leading you simply just go, Run! 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 And just start running away and all scattering off in various directions. You put yourself at the center. Same the center? Map. Hmm? Wow, not even bothering to rotate it 90 degrees this time? Yeah. <laughs> well, he did rotate it again. It's upside down now. Yeah, but it was upside down last time. That wasn't yeah, coming. Last time, time, nothing happened. Nothing doesn't count. It counts Where's in my heart. Eva? I got yeah. scared by the, <laughs> the spider. No, that's a friend. Don't worry. That's oh, no. love. 
It's love it's... is her name? Oh. Bread, not food. <laughs> yeah, I know those yes. two. <laughs> I'll show it to you later. Mine's cooler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um uh you uh are all right there. When off in the distance, you know, you're probably the one who sees it first, is in an absolutely large amount of fog with filled with red tendrils moving around inside of it that is accelerating toward all of you at a rapid pace. What is this? I'm sorry, can you, you all can roll for initiative. Again? I heard, heard red tentacles. <laughs> you can see all these red tendrils just inside oh. the fog itself, infused inside of it. Coalescing and around. I should have was really bad, by the way. Which direction were we moving then? And you were going from okay. left. I have advantage. Oh, so it's, the, it's a 22. I forgot to click on my sh my thing because I'm not dummy. Oh, fuck, I forgot to fix my initiative. Uh, uh, advantage? I think it should be this. Oh, come on! <laughs> Oh my god, my sheet's got Rose's new character? What? Wait! Why? It's definitely not called that. Why is it a thing? Yeah, my initiative is showing my entire name. Let me still so that I took off. Hmm? I what don't do you know mean if I that, I feel like... It's only uh, showing up for you. Oh, okay. because you have the I extension, that's why. What extension? Oh, maybe? No, hold on. I don't have an extension. I don't know. It's you just know. that I, I switched my I changed my name already, but it's still showing it. It's showing my whole name. In the initial <laughs> tracker, it shows your name, but mine is showing Rose's new character instead of Nova. Am I... yeah, yeah, but it doesn't show for anyone else, and it's like. I mean, as long as you guys don't see it, it's fine. Yeah. I just can't see the rest of the initiative ever because <laughs> my name's so freaking long. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't need it. Yeah, you just make the initial tracker bigger if needed. Yeah, that's true. Big initiative. Um, let me go ahead and roll the initiative. It was at zero, wasn't it? Hmm? I never rolled it. Oh. I see it at zero. Yeah. Uh, wow, that thing has a fast initiative. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The only person that is able to respond fast enough to this then is going to be uh Eo. Well, I did say you were the first one to notice this. Uh, sorry, which Wait, way? Wait, hold on, come? Cabal. Cabal, did you roll on Bartholomew's or like? Oh, I guess. Leopold rolled twenty-two. No, I no, that was because they, it they didn't get onto the tracker. Yeah. Yeah. Rolled eleven. Ah, yes, I rolled for Bartholomew instead. Do you want me to roll again? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and set it for Cabal instead. You rolled for Bart again. Yeah, on Bartholomew. Oh, no. Because it was on top of the sheet. Now it shows. You're curious. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it as Cabal now also. Yeah. Okay, then, uh, yo. Can you, uh, which way is the mist coming from again? Uh, from right to left. That mist is moving extremely fast, is what you notice. So we it's were moving... like a wall. We were moving from left to right. Le yep. Oh. oh, it's right there. Okay, sorry, I wasn't zoomed out enough. Uh, is it time to about face? Uh, uh... Is there anything we see besides red tendrils? That it is moving extremely fast directly toward all of you. How far is Um. I think I'll just yeet myself backwards a little bit. Just in case. Okay. Just how fast is this thing moving, I wonder? I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, I think we're about to find out. <laughs> Wait, wasn't it from left to right? Right to we're left. We're moving from left to right. The fog is moving from right to left. Yep. Oh, okay. 
Or can we go around it? Or is it just like a wall as far as far as we can see? I mean, this is all the entire wall. So yes, you would be able to theoretically move around it. Wow. In that case... We have 80. Wait, actually I have a 160 if I use Ego Wish on Dash. Is Arena not on the initiative on the map? Oh, I just didn't place him down because I forgot. I got you. Uh, alright, you're like over here. Jesus Christ. Wow. Would you like more move speed, friend? Okay, <laughs> well, Irina's actually got their initiative already up pretty high. So. Sorry, I didn't mean to go. charge the mist. I did not want. Seeing the mist in front of them, they are. Their eyes widen and they see everybody clumped up here. They simply move forward. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Irina, what is that? I don't know, but I'm not afraid of it. That's true. She has Strahd. Must be nice. Yeah, but if we don't, if don't protect her, Strahd murders us. So you can't run. <laughs> Honored. <laughs> Alright, then, I think that's everything, right? There was only one person that can move, yeah. <laughs> Alright, then I'll just turn off that dish. This is the only beast on this map right now. Or creature. You, uh, see it all the way over there, Eo. Just f flying with extreme acceleration all the way over to where you are. Infusing the entire area around you. Uh, can I use a reaction to attack it when it gets into range? Uh, do you have like a send order like? Then yes, you can. Yeah. When well, you said fast, I didn't know what that was. Uh. So I get to make two one when it gets into reach, and then one when it moves five feet. Mm -hmm. The 22 does connect. Okay. Uh, I knock it back 10 feet. Oh, which way are you knocking it back? Uh, direction, direction it came from? Uh, the direction it came from. Okay, All it right. moves back to the range. Okay, oh, I attack it again. God damn it, why can't I just open the text? My apologies. Your access that's easier. There we go. Um... It's the I button. <laughs> yeah, but the I button wasn't working because the, the spell wasn't like saved. Oh no. You try to um uh, hit it back, but its AC is too high. It's not gonna. Okay, hang on, I have one more. Hmm? Ah. If you use your reaction for one of those attacks, then wait, hold on. Wait, could you put the text of which uh, abilities it is? It's sending on something, right? Uh, it's Sentinel um... Tunnel Fire, I believe, to to do that. I also have the uh, what's it called? Fighting initiate. If I need to use a reaction, it doesn't cost a reaction once. Or tunnel fighter. Uh, or is that the one where you move ten five feet? I think so, right? Because I think yeah, tunnel fighter yeah. is a okay, fight. So I have, I have two. I have two uh, tunnel fighter uses. Move more than five feet off in your reach. Okay, yep, that seems to work. Okay. And so both of those hits connect onto. I boop it back ten feet. It's been booped back after taking a uh, bit of extra damage right there. And then it's moved two of them over to here, and the other three over onto y'all's area over here. Wait, wait, wait. It's, uh, oh, it's not uh... that close. Hmm? It's not that close. My reach is 20 feet. So it's now 30 feet away. All right. And then when it moved back in, you pushed right. it back again, right? Yeah. Okay, and then it clears the distance. Okay, well, I attack it again, because it came back into range. Alright. Were those opportunity attacks? Wait, doesn't Sentinel drop its speed to zero? Yeah, I that's what I'm Sentinel. thinking. Uh, okay, never mind. As no. you are. Rip. I, I have Sentinel, so I'm going to attack one of them. I think this one. Alright, another tentacle whip connects onto the mist. And pushes it back. It's now 30 feet away. 
It's just going to keep trying to move back into range. Uh, I'm just going to keep attacking it, so I guess I'm just going to keep rolling. Actually, this is the last bit of movement it has left. Okay. So will try it one more time. Fuck! And that does not connect. But its AC is 15. I'm going to try to stop this one as soon as it gets into range, so let's see. So right here? Uh, far away because I... it's uh, my mind has reach. So one, one square away from anyone. For everyone, if I can. That would be about right here, then, as it would have been within the reach of 10 feet here. Okay. Oh, please! 16 connects? Yep, the 16 connects. Yes! It stopped. I deal no damage, but it stops. Oh, sorry. There! I'm not raging, so it's just 6 damage. Alright, 6 damage onto the darkness. Then, uh, starting top to bottom, the mist up there will begin one attempt to life train you, Eve. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Pretty good. Hmm? That is enough. Otherwise, uh, you just see that, like, it, it attempted to drain you in some capacity. But otherwise, nothing else has happened. You feel fine. Meanwhile, down uh, below here, so they would have gone here. Uh, the four, I think actually it's on everybody except for Ava. Ava, you were not inside the mist's area because Leopold did manage to hold off the one that was about to kind of get into that area. Wait, All the Leopold themselves oh, got into the mist there on the left. So everybody wait, are there wait, also. Second. One second. Hmm? Where did that mist come, come from? It passes past through us or? It is flying. As in, it just literally flew over your head, and and it's now in your current spot. Oh, then I can, and then I can keep this one because this one is only picking kicking one person. This one keep uh, is hitting everyone else. I but the thing is, is that this one... one would probably move into that spot. Uh, I do have a question of clarification for mm -hmm. round gargantuan creatures. So is this not within this one's square? I tend to just look at the actual space of the token for things like this. Once it after a certain token size, just because it makes just it so much to be easier. Sure. Yeah, reasonable. Okay. Don't mean to attempt to throw wave under the bus or anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think then, yeah, I like, manages to get everybody except for Ava. I'll go ahead and make Constitution saves. Oh boy. Or protection. Yeah. It would be really nice right now. <laughs> Paladins aren't real. <laughs> Ooh. I saw a medicine mineral on a fucking save that. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if mine went through, but I'm gonna click again, so if you see two, just take whichever one is better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Set the chimeric spiders token card. Wow, this one right here is quite successful. <laughs> <laughs> The constitution saves from here were not a mini. Ah. Alright, uh, for those ah. of you, the DC for this was 15. And those of you who failed will take the following amount of damage. 5 billion. You take 11 necrotic damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I barely succeeded. Like... And you lose two levels. <laughs> you uh, feel your hit point maximum decrease by that amount as well. Please decrease it and make note where your have... actual maximum. Very... Wait, how does very that work with our temp HP? HP? It would still take a maximum HP regardless. So wait, I lose 11 HP even though I didn't actually lose 11 HP? You would lose 11 max HP, yes. It's a draining your vitality while your temp HP protected your HP itself that's kind of weird so we'll have doesn't that mean he took 22 <laughs> yeah we'll, ha we'll have eight more hp no. than our maximum i think if it if it didn't uh oh so it also did damage to the temp hp so we lost the temp hp as well yeah we lost the temp hp but it we we, we basically have more than our temp our maximum now because yeah yeah this okay. one dropped our maximum by a certain amount so 50. but then we'd also have 
That was an interesting interaction. I didn't, I didn't realize temp HP would interact that way with max HP reduction, but that seems like it would be the case. Jay Crow oh, ruled it in the way that you described it, Aqua. Okay, hmm? so it's... Yikes. So essentially, you take 19 damage. That's kind of yikes. No. Oh. So wait, now mine... Sounds about right, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna forget, so I'm gonna write wait, it in the campaign chat. Um, we we took uh, we only took three damage because our temp HP absorbed eight, but yeah. we get reduced anyways. So our max HP we still take eleven damage. Yeah, <laughs> essentially no, because I don't think. Wait, does our new HP become our new temp max HP, or is we just literally just lost all like, that HP? With we have no, we, more we lost all of that. current we have more current HP than we have hit points. But we can't. That that can't happen, can it? Yeah, you basically you took bonus damage. Yeah, but it can, it can't happen. Ended up happening. So that's what happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. So we do. That is, but it kind of. It would think, I guess you could think of it as like if the vampire, which has the ability to drain max HP, also was to do something similar, then you know that would in fact be the way it would work. <laughs> it's not like the temp HP protects your max HP in any meaningful way, constraining effect. Yeah. It's weird. All right. This mist is quite vampiric. So we don't have temporary uh, HP I mean... anymore. No, it, it, we had eight temporary HP. So you took all of that damage, and then you reduce your uh your HP by three damage. So from thirty six down to thirty three <laughs> HP, and then bring down your maximum down to twenty five HP. We changed our temporary HP to overheal. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so you have 33 Wait. HP, but 25 max HP right now. No, I had a 47 total, so I already did it. Oh, okay. Wait. I had a 47 HP and 8 temporary HP. How much would I have? Please, somebody tell me. Cause I you have 47 max HP but prior to this, so that yes. means you have and 45 current HP. Okay. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> well, no, your, ma your current HP can't be above your max HP, wouldn't it? See, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what we were asking. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I think you were asking about a different interaction. Then. No, 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 no. That's what we were asking. So it's no, not your current HP cannot be higher than your max HP. So it did more. So it basically did 19 damage to us. Yes. Yep. Seems like that would okay. be the case. Okay. Okay. That's the question we wanted to ask. Okay. So yeah. Just current HP is your maximum new HP. Yeah. Yes. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it kind of went past the 10 HP in that regard. Yeah. Seems seems like a good counter to be fair. Okay. Alright, well, my brain is looking what? Yeah, exactly. Your um, current HP is not higher than your max. You have sixty eight HP. Uh, it turns out you didn't so, actually have breakfast because wood isn't. So so did uh, did we take the damage before it drained our max HP? The order of events is the damage goes through and then your max HP gets. So basically, it didn't oh change. God. You're you're still at max HP then. So okay. Your your new max HP, I guess. I would just make this interaction. I hate it. <laughs> is this uh, aura visible currently? Yeah. Yes. It is. All right. It'll be important next turn. It's a secret tool that'll help us later. <laughs> Then, um, uh, then after all of that has gone through, after you feel the vitality from you getting drained out in such a way, the next thing you see happen is that on your current locations, you, or not on a current, as there were four con save that were fail, you notice that next to each person, a shadow of some kind appears and looks visibly hostile. Oh wait, one hold up, hold up. How did, how did they get here? Love would have saw before them, before, as mm -hmm. they approached. They were not invisible. It appears they had been extracted by the mist. They came from their shadow. Oh. Oh. Aw, oh, Nameless would have loved this so much. We are fighting our sins. Lovely. As for what's happening to Irina over there, um... Actually, don't have to even roll for this. Nothing happens. You just see that the mist is trying to drain them and it's just not succeeding. By the way, what, that was necrotic damage? Hmm? Yes, necrotic damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to boot this for a second. See this thing's HP. There we go. Yeah, All right. Um. 
then that appears to be it for their moose. It is all of your turn, as you are now surrounded by mists and shadows. Aura of life, among other things, our hit point uh, total can no longer be reduced within this circle. I like oh, that. that's good. We have resistance <laughs> oh. to necrotic damage within this circle. Oh. I love yes. so much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Aura of life. And Chase looks over to Ava, or like, uh, Ang Angarika. Shoot, if you keep me like that alive, I don't mind working for you. <laughs> 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 all right so uh <clears throat> probably should definitely stay oh, inside sorry. within this aura okay. now oh, that's what i'm going to do anyway so uh I guess cast shadow will are you moving out occasion. of it to, are you moving out of its reach there yes i will take the opportunity to attack all right you take another life drain um go ahead and roll a constitution save bro Atreus will move here alongside the uh, love, and so that okay. he's closer to more allies. Uh, nothing happened. Can we like interact with this as if it's like a? Can we attack it with like physical damage? You can certainly try, J voice. Well, I I managed to hit with my. You can certainly my try to attack it with a physical weapon. You know what? Uh, it kind of hurt to try. Love will, love will attempt to try well. stinging this one. Alright, Love tries to sting the miss and our stinger just goes straight through. Uh, how much do you care about Love being hit by a blinding, smoky fire attack? Uh, if you're gonna do that, Atreus would rather bring back Love in. Those are words. I'm gonna do it. Yep, yeah, so uh, at bonus action, send Love back. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make a cone of fire 15 feet. Uh, directly north, so ideally hitting at least one shadow on both of these smoky guys. Alright, and what kind of save is it? Uh, constitution. Oop, pressed it twice. Okay, uh, so my I guess I effectively like... went out of range of this one. Will it try to attack me? Hold on, one thing at a time. The shadow has failed a constitution save, and uh, both of the dark mist have succeeded. Uh, it is half damage, and they're not blinded. And it's a, just a flat number, which is mathematics right there. How much is the total damage output? Though? 14 total on a failure, so 7 on a success. Okay, so both of those dark mists take 7 damage. As for the shadow, it will take 14. It's and they get, getting actually take three additional damage, so before success failure. You should make a buff for that. Uh, yeah, I should. I will. Alright, so another three damage goes down on top of everything else. Uh, Eo will wave at you guys and highly advise you to uh, come over here in her direction so she can keep these weird foggy thingies away. Additionally, I am now on fire. This Burn, is the pre-edit text, by the way. Mm -hmm. I just haven't changed it over. Mm -hmm. uh... Alright, I kind of moved over here. I, like, I was here initially on love, and then I unmounted love here. So, uh, I'm guessing this whole try to attack me? Uh, nothing happens uh, yet. You have not moved out of it. Oh, wait, the shadow. Yeah, the shadow will definitely try to attack you. Um, it will attempt to hit you with its strength drain. Does not hit. It does not succeed in hitting you, as you just feel shadows creeping on your back. This guy uh, is the one that failed. He's blinded. Hey, uh, did you did you see my fireball? Um, I did not see your fireball. Go ahead and place it back. It's uh, one it's shadow right is actually blind. I don't know how much that's relevant, but just in case. All right, Cabal Just... throws down a fireball, and now three of the Dark Mists will go ahead and make their dexterity saving. Wait, uh, is this also affected? Hmm? I think if you just maneuver it just a little bit, you can probably still hit the Mists and that one. Well, I... It does. It's touching it, right? I think it does already. It needs, yeah. like, you mean, like, touching the Shadow? It has to occupy the majority of its space. 
Ah, okay, then that makes things a lot easier then. Oops. Just have Nova step out of the way. Uh, I think if you just move it downwards a little, it'll be fine. Where it was? Right here? Yeah. No, a little a little bit to the right. If you move left. it to the left, there you go. have Nova step to the left. Or just move it down one more. Just move it down one more. You're gonna hit every down, no, down, no. Up. No, not down, up. down, down. Because down. like the goal is to if if this person moves out of the way, I can hit this one, this one, Wait, this oh, one. You're gonna hit them all anyway. Wait, why don't you just put it here? here? Here, where Irina's also at. That's where I'm going. Irina won't suffer from it. <laughs> Doesn't she Irina have evasion? Irina at no point has demonstrated the evasion. Oh, well, she's a fighter. Just she's have strong. It's time for to do it now. <laughs> I'd like to do it here. Okay. I'll just move a little bit right here. You will take an opportunity attack from this dark mist. You do. But, Wait a second. Hold on. Well, scoot your token back over here. Yeah, uh, that looks like it's already not covering her much. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be hit by fire. It's not really covering the Shadow Eater, though. Well, it's covering half. It's the same. It's a, it's it's a majority. Though. It's covering less on Nova's. Yeah, way less on It's Nova's. not covering the majority of its square. Oh, I okay. Think. I couldn't see it because it was blue. Mm -hmm. that's... That, that, I think that's just... an acceptable explosion, though. Yeah, Wait, I think do that... you want me to just like make my move first? What's, what's your move? I can just like teleport it out. Yeah, why don't you just do that? Then we can... I guess you can put it right here and you can hit... Uh, just, uh... Five of them. If, uh, for uh, Thunder Step 1, uh, each have right. to take their... Like, would everyone else have to make the clown save also? Yes. Okay. You do not get the target creature for your choice of Thunder Step. Okay, in that case, I will... Um, like... Move, um, fuck, I don't know, I guess over here. Is that 30 feet from where I was? Let me see. Oh, are you using Misty Step? Yeah, no. 30 <laughs> All feet. those arrows? <laughs> 30 feet, yeah, right around this area. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I'll just go up Wait, here. As long as you're yeah. within 20 feet of EO, you're safer. When things move. Uh, I wouldn't move up there because that other uh, fog is gonna bum rush somebody. The safest place is still around uh, Anga Anga Rika, I think. I do yeah, have some. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Angie's thing. Right here, next to Leopold and. If you so, Erica. we're probably you're probably gonna get life drain next turn anyway. Um, the turn after that, I can push uh this this one away from everyone. And then you won't be in it anymore. You can probably get out. You know what? It's fine. I'm just gonna turn myself into gas and wither away. <laughs> You're gonna mingle Which with ability the are you using to do that? Oh, gas form. Okay. Surrounded by fog and gas, you too become gas. <laughs> Your only method of flying. <laughs> all you can do is fly ten feet into. Yeah, I know. Um. Before I do this, I'm gonna like spend the sorcery point and use a quicken spell. But uh, before I do that, I'm gonna like actually uh, cast. Infestation. On like the one over here, like the on top of me. On top of you? Okay, it makes its concept. Failing. Taking a... 10 poison damage. It is immune to poison damage. Oh no. Which is, you know, understandable. As for Would I know part, that? Would I know that beforehand? Uh, you've never seen this creature, so no. Okay. Well, fuck. Okay, I guess then can't really do anything, I'm just gonna like float in this direction. 
kind of right there on top of everyone. I don't actually know Gash's form prevents opportunity attacks, though. Checking. Because if it doesn't... I don't see it mentioning that you are immune to opportunity attack. How they... is that... Well, if I'm not immune to opportunity attacks, then I'll not turn into a gas. The problem is, like, where I'm standing right now- wait, can I just, like, walk over here? Use thunder step and, like, move away again? You can yeah, probably you step away. Yeah. Okay, uh, can I take, uh, can I take Ava with me? Yeah, so do note that, uh, this shadow will be able to potentially get an opportunity attack, depending. Okay, then can I go right here, then? What's but, uh, the range of thunder step for the teleportation? Uh, it's 10 feet, uh, yeah, it's 10 feet, so we'd, like, be able to teleport probably, like, here. Hold on. So, if, yeah, like, we can go right there without taking any opportunity attacks. Hey, but you will take an opportunity attack from Dismiss if you move. Anyway, like, how, how close do I have to be standing, like, near you to be able to teleport, is what I mean? I can you can tell. So five feet. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll take the opportunity to attack. All I right. believe. Vampiric Mist goes for its life drain as you move away from it. Cool. So is that just a con save? Yeah. Yes. My favorite. Oh! Did you succeed? <laughs> Thank God, okay. <laughs> uh, then I'll use Thunder Step here. Let me cast it. And then there'll be three cons, uh, two, con two con saves from the miss and one from the shadow. Yes, they're all failing. Except for the shadow. Failing. That's fine. And then we will teleport, like, let me see, uh, back here. <laughs> Not wow. that. Wait, is that only 10 you, feet? You can go 60 feet with Thunderstep. Oh, step. is it 60 feet? Okay, I think where do you so. want to go? Let me just check. You can go 90 feet with Thunderstep. Yeah, it is 90 no. feet. Well, uh, Shit. okay. Where do you want to go? Uh, go below area. Eo so that she can boop the fog back if it runs at you guys. Right there? Anywhere anywhere below Eo. Is, is Angie going to move her aura? That would require moving the Angie, and as it stands, she would suffer an opportunity attack and potentially lose concentration. Okay. Yeah, so pro probably best not. Since these mists can opportunity attack with things that aren't basic attacks, that's a risk I don't want to take. Do you want to yeah. go over there? Yeah, that, that, that's fine. Because even, right. even if I like end up here, for example, I'll just move into the aura. Yeah, okay, let's uh, cool. move Same. yourself next to me. If I end up there, I'll then just walk there. I think, uh, I think the the wand of goo should work, right? Like, but I could hit with my my whip, and it doesn't say a limit for size or any limit at all. So, which which fog are you going to to bump out? Um, uh, next to I was just gonna do this one. If you guys just all gather around me, I can probably keep most things out of range. Okay, because uh, I can just restrain one, so it won't be able to move for the rest of the combat. Well, I can restrain all of them if I hit them. I mean, I can so... also I can also restrain them, but. Um... Dang. Okay, I'm going to restrain this one then. One of glue on it. Uh... Probably, probably I prefer you restrain one of these mm -hmm. since this one I want to push it back because it's kind of in our faces and I don't want us to be taking a bunch of opportunity attacks. You want to move somewhere. Yeah, but if uh, you move this one, and then it will be able to come back. But the yeah, but that's the thing, it, it won't be able it's... to come back if you guys are around me. Regardless of what happened, uh, you aim your one oh, viscid globs, and a four, because it's disadvantaged due to being a ranged attack, is not enough to hit it. More notably, oh, as your wand moves through, you see it completely move through its form anyway, as it is completely immune to being yeah. trained. Ah, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Oh. I'm taking the uh, disengage action and got in here. Wait, Joshua, what key? What uh, 
what do you use to do the the little thing and move your icon at the same time? I keep forgetting. You you hold your token and then you right as you're holding it, right click on the spot you want. Right click. Note that moving right. through the mist itself is still difficult for me because it is uh, enemy territory space. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. So. Oh. That right, means as far as I can get to. Would be right there. Also. Can. I mean, this is kind of metagaming, but can the um, mists actually opportunity attack things outside of their space? I'm not I sure guess, what you mean by that. Specifically, where I am right now, I would not be able to be attacked by this one. Assume which uh, for, for, Oh, like, what's the reach on their attack? Yeah, because it says the mist touches one creature in its space, and if I'm not in this space, then I can't be affected by that, right? We're basically only affected by one of the mists at a time. Yeah. Well, as long as they're not overlapping, like, on Irina. I don't I'm know if that those mists are. Because, like, this one opportunity attacked Ava when she was, like, here. When yeah, she... they have been so far opportunity attacking things that moved outside of their five foot. They have limbs. All right, so then the ability text is not accurate, is what you're saying. It is not. I just uh, didn't word it correctly, basically. The intent is there, though. Yeah, the yeah. intent is that if you moved outside of it, then it would still attack the brain. Uh, I was just considering my options. I think I'll I'll take that risk anyway. See, this is the problem when I post text when I like I have it on my side. I know what it means essentially, and then <laughs> whoops, there it is. Uh, I will move fitting feet to here. Oh God, please concentration. All right. Yeah, I mean I have here. resistance to necrotic, so it's cool. Go ahead okay. and make a Constitution saving throw. I believe. You yeah. succeed. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nice. Perfect. Um, so this first attack is going to go on the blinded shadow in front of me. Mm hmm. So that is twenty foot one. It is an advantage. Go ahead and roll it again. It is blinded. It cannot see. You see it covering its eyes with its shadowy hands. <laughs> That's a twenty-one and a twenty-eight. That does connect. Do I actually hit it though? Is it taking damage? He says you hit it twice. <laughs> yep, you have hit it twice. And the third glaive hit goes out. Is this glaive magical? It is not. Okay. Pop it in the snow. As the third hit collides into the shadow's form, you notice your weapons are not dealing as much into it as you expect. But the third hit is still enough regardless to make it... <sighs> yes! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take that space then. With the disengage action, of course. Mm -hmm. Come closer, if you uh, are able to. I cannot. Okay. This is difficult terrain, sadly. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Uh, as much as I love giving my allies disadvantage, is this mist obscuring in any way, or can we see through it? Except it is not obscuring. You can see through it. All right. Uh, difficult terrain, so I can move twenty feet on it. Okay, I can come here then. Oh, but you're mobile, aren't you? Because... Yeah, you won't for an opportunity to attack the boot there. Yeah, it, it's you know, I need to. I need, I'm going to move here actually because then I can protect everyone. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Move here. Constitution save. It's, you don't actually uh, have 16. to make it because you're still in its reach. Uh, this one from on the right was the one I got. Oh. oh, okay. Wait, I thought that one already made an opportunity attack. Oh, you're right, it did. So no, we can't do it again. Yay! Oh, oh, that means I wasted my good 19 roll for nothing. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I was the first one to take the opportunity attack from that specific <laughs> one. All right, so so I'm, I'm validated here. It's okay. All right. Okay, so I'm over here, and Tunnel Fighter. 
that's that, that's what I can do. Yeah, I will do All too. Right. Um, if that's the case, then EO will probably move a little. Oh wait, you said this was difficult terrain, right? Um. That's what I was. EO enters the mist. <laughs> That's just a little bit too close. I'll back up. Oh, there's no in between here. How big is Fireball? 30 feet. 30 feet. 20 feet radius. 20 feet. Is that like a. Hold on, do we have a 40 foot cube? Just gonna play around. I could just look at my spell sheet instead of asking you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 foot radius. Yeah, I think I might have used the wrong th token for my fireball then. Hmm? Oh, did you use a 30 foot radius one? Yeah. And you probably would have hit approximately the same things. Oh, cool. Thank um, you, DM. Can I, can I ever shoot that one with the first attack? Uh, yes, and it connects in. You said it's an 18? Yeah, so clockwork amulet and then plus 8 to hit. So, uh... And 23. And the, the bow itself is a plus 1, so it's magical, but the arrows aren't. I don't know if that means it uh, does less an arrow, Arrows fired from a magical bow become magical spells. Okay, cool. Right. And then she'll do another attack while it's going on. Uh... What's giving that yeah. plus 13 mod, by the way? On the damage? Yeah. Uh, sharpshooter and... Sharpshooter and uh, braces of archery and the plus one there. Okay, and you already have the uh, minus five on the actual roll? Yes. Because my, my null hit is 13 without it. Oh, I see, because I see it's a plus 8. Got it. Okay, so that connects in for the 25 piercing damage, as it may strike true. That miss wow. is starting to become uh, more incorporeal. I guess for Irina's turn, and seeing the miss being uh, partially wounded, attempts to swing their greatsword over at it as it just phases harmlessly through the mist. No. Ah, I see. And instead, they're just going to move over here, trying to grab their attention. They're not moving too much further, actually. Irina, come over here! <laughs> You're not doing anything to me. What? But you should come this way. So come over know. here! Oh, I have a quick she's... question of rules with the Aura of mm -hmm. Vitality. Uh, it, it says max HP can't be reduced inside of it. Does that include retroactively? No, because that happened before it happened. Before All it right. Activated. Just wanted to be sure, since also at the start of Yalz's turn, if uh, if it wasn't for the max HP shenanigans, you do gain one HP while in it, assuming oh, you're nice. a living creature. <laughs> Super I can assure you that I am living. <laughs> for now. All right. Uh, is that everybody's moves? Also, what's at the square? Um, I just need it for a spell later. Sorry. It's a secret. Cool. <laughs> I already made that joke. All right, okay. then, on the uh, Mont creature's turn, the shadow will move through, get close. Oh. Uh, you cannot because oh. of my feet. Yep. So that shadow will move there, and that shadow will move. Uh, I just took them that with my Tunnel Fighter. You have to actually oh, hit them first. Say, is, can you, can you, how many shoot, shots do you have for that? A lot. Unlimited. Wait, you can, you just don't consume of the... That's what Tunnel Fighter does. Yeah, it's unlimited Tunnel Fighter. I have Tunnel Fighter, what? So, I guess it's not 10 feet. The text on Tunnel Fighter specifies that you can make an opportunity attack without using your reaction. It's inside the Tunnel Fighter text itself. 
the shadow gets booped back. But uh, it shambles forward regardless one more time. The other one as well. Oh, I guess I'll do one more time. Um, that's a 14 hit. Yep, that's still enough to hit. It proceeds to take. Is this magical? Yes. Alright, okay. it proceeds to take the uh, 10 more and it just gets booted back. This shadow moved forward as well. Although. That's 25 feet away. That's outside of your reach. The shadow uh, and goes for the closest person next to it, which in this case would be the ball. You are the target of a strength drain. Ah. I guess I'll take it. Oops, take that up. All right, it hits you with the strength drain for <gasps> 36 necrotic damage. There is Have. Resistance. Uh oh. To it, it's you have resistance to necrotic damage due to the aura of life, and you only take 18 necrotic damage instead. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm going to do the. Oof. Why is it? Interception? Mm hmm. So six more damage six reduced? Last. Yeah. Cool. Oh, the order of events. Resistance. Yeah, resistance and then the. Hold on. Mm -hmm. 15 damage total. Is it not flat reduce and then resistance applied Res after? Re yeah, resistance it's flat vulnerability reduced. is applied at the very end of damage calculation. Yeah, so it's a 30 reduced to half, which is 15. Yep, 15 damage it's set. Um, additionally, recorded down somewhere, Cabal, you have lost one strength. Okay. Oh, no. So right oh, find no. where your actual strength is and note it down somewhere. Sonic, this uh, shadow will also similarly be going for a strength drain onto you. Failing miserably. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the mist moves forward. Wow. The other two mists over there continue to ineffectually go after Irina. You notice that they keep on attempting to uh, drain them, and yet nothing is happening at all. Like right. there's no life to drain, thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Eyes emoji. Or their immunity to necrotic damage for whatever reason. Our oh. strategist protecting them. I... Wait, uh, why did you move down, is... uh, Cabal? Is it our turn? Uh, no, it is the vampiric mist. Not vampiric. The, uh, the dark mist's turn. No, Cabal, I... don't run away. I I, I did didn't move away. Okay. Question mark. This vampiric mist is moving up around Lap. in order to get to the area here. Slap! It has enough movement that it's going to keep going until um, uh, one of them misses. Here? What gave you an advantage on that again? Wait. Uh, Shadow Moil. Did, did she enter my, my range? Because I can reduce her movement to zero. Well, it moved it like this, basically. Like around. That's within 10 feet of Leo, isn't it? No, Tempe feet. Leo is not even Wait, outside. Where does the thing start? Is it start in the center or from the edge? It starts from the center yeah. for you. Okay. Reach starts from the center of your token. But like 10, 10 feet is like uh, around. If she was touching the corner, here. No, it's, that's 15. This that's one is 15. over here. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I booped that. Pop it. I popped it. Just roll again, because I'm assuming it just goes. How many times should I roll? Hold on, give me a second. Cast heat metal on the blood that's absorbing. <laughs> you said Shadow Moyo is giving you. Wait, so like Shadow Moyo because it can't see you is what you're saying? Uh, Shadow Moyo is heavy obscurement. Uh, we're not in heavy obscurement. I, I, I am heavily obscured. Causing you to become heavily obscured to others. The mist is unaffected by heavy obscurement because it does not have eyes. Does it have a sense of some sort that allows it to be seen? Yeah. Uh, I mean, fact, allows it. A particular sense that would make sense for a mist to have would, in fact, be blind sight. The first tentacle whip does not connect. Okay. I whip it again. 
when it goes more. Yep. And so I went over there and add second one to 19 to connect for 9 slashing. Let me put the second one. Over. After that, the third one tentacle whip would have not connected as its AC is 15. Okay. Uh, so that was when it entered. And so I get one more for my actual reaction. Alright, that connects. For the 10. It just keeps going back in. Okay. And again. When it enters reach. That's when it enters reach again. Tunnel fighter, going. tunnel fighter, tunnel fighter, tunnel fighter. Okay, and that tunnel awesome. whip does not connect. With everybody inside, everybody go ahead and make a constitution saving. I'm outdoors. Oh, cool. Oh, come on. Constitution save throws. Eleven! Oh, shit! <laughs> not again! Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. I credit. Some good content going out this time. Normal. Yeah. That's not normal. <laughs> My bad. Then... Leopold Atreus, I think you're the only two that failed this. You will take half of this. Only eight, and normally it would reduce your maximum HP, but it cannot due to the aura of light. So I took no damage because it hit my temp HP. Nice. See, your temp HP is useful against those guys. The ball. As long as you keep my concentration up. Yes. Some more shadows populate down. Okay. It is all of your moves now. Friend. Sonic is going to attempt um, bonking the tentacle mist. Wait, is there a shadow every single time one person gets hit? It seems so. But you don't. You only have oh, one shadow. Right, it wasn't three done. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. Crystal, where, where, do where are these two coming from? Yeah, where are these two coming from? Uh, let me see. Was this one? Oh yeah, it was right next to the target. Sorry. Right here, done. There we go. Fixed up. I am going to where, attempt to consume the mist. This? Primal savagery, transforming my teeth into larger teeth and right, fiery so first teeth. Of all, Sonic, go ahead and roll that glaive damage onto the mist. However, it is not magical, so this will deal. On... No, wait, it's a non magical glaive, right? right. You uh, see your glaive just phase completely through the mist, doing absolutely nothing. Damn. Um, then my other two attacks will... Hmm. Wrong button. Um... Enchant your I'll come there. over here and make these attacks on this shadow. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do now. Alright, that shadow will take half damage from these. That will be a total of... And I'm guessing that 1d4 is because of, um, uh... Like, uh, the brute. Creature. Yeah. Hmm? Does my primal savagery connect onto the mist? Yeah, it does. The AC is only 15. You stab into this shadow twice, and then uh, you see uh, a primal savagery from Angarica going onto the mist itself. Healing 8 acid damage. <laughs> That's disappointing. Uh, it's not acid damage, it is fire damage because I am adept at True. fire. What's that? One second. Yep. Oh, uh, head one and head two show up as Atreus mounts them. <laughs> yep. And, and, uh, you aim your portal out and your two headed zippers. Yep. And then he orders them to use their breath weapon in this direction. Oh, all right. Ooh. What save is it? It is a dexterity saving throw. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you do that, can I cast slow so that you have a minus two to dex saves? Oh, they had to fail that first, but yeah, he'll wait. Yeah, hold on, let me cast slow on everything that this cube has. So it'll be one creature, two, three, four, five, six. I guess everything except for the one that is on top of me and Ava. Okay, uh, could you put the text of slow? For me. Yes, and it's a what save? Wisdom. <sighs> it's a wisdom save. All right, they are actually pretty decent at this, surprisingly. Here we go. One, two, on the miss. 
And. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Shadow. Every <laughs> single shadow fails. <laughs> and <laughs> the okay, um, so... rightmost miss is now currently slow. You see it curling around slowly. So it has a minus two penalty to AC and deck saving throws. It cannot use any reactions, and no matter what it says on their actions, it can only attack once per turn. Mm -hmm. uh, melee. Or range of the decks. Yep. And, and if so... it is, attempts to cast a spell, the casting time of an action, with the cast time of an action, you roll a d20. On an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take that effect until the creature's next turn. So it's a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. That will probably be useful in this fight. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, now, now the flame breath go weapon ahead. gets sent out from uh, head one to head two. Uh, both mists and uh, both of these guys are affected by it. So here it is. Oh, DC I guess 12. I should... Yep. Three D six right. fire damage. The rightmost miss got a DC, uh, got a 13 on its roll, but because of its slow, it actually fails instead. And the two shadows as well. Will also fail because one of them specifically because of the slow that's on it. So the leftmost miss will take what, 7 damage, and the others will take 14? Yes. Okay. 14 damage, 14 damage. The slow shadow there on the right, already its form like melting into the floor gets absolutely blasted and annihilated by this this shadow right here is now currently being restrained by molten rock and yep, while this and... mist is not it will take 14 damage yep and as this one is restrained Iatreus will swing his uh his glaive at it at advantage since it is restrained so wait it's uh within 10 is that 10 feet or 5 feet of me if I can feet of you. be it. Okay. As it's a purpose, then. Yep. Uh, within five feet. So these are at that advantage. Ooh. Both <laughs> connecting. Is your pull axe magical? No. Well, it's silver, but I don't think that counts. Silver does not. The uh, shadow takes 11 total damage after everything, and it's still currently restrained. Alright, and that should end my turn. So only this one's restrained, right? Like in terms of the actual mist, it's only this one that's restrained? This mist is not restrained. You notice the Molten Rock phase over it in, attempt in the attempt to restrain it. Oh, okay. Uh... It will just take two attacks at this one. Mm -hmm. uh, with or without sharpshooter. Uh, It'll be a dis Oh, you have a close quarter shooting, right? I, I just got a shooting, yeah. Very um, convenient right now. Very, very convenient. Um, do I want to use... Uh, do, we feel, do, we, do we feel threatened by these things? No. I think we're okay now, thanks to the aura of vitality. Okay. Cool. Then we'll just. Uh... Oh, nice! Uh, we'll take that plus one HP. Plus one. I'll just roll those two. Right. Uh, twenty-four does connect, and you're aiming it to the one at your right, correct? Uh, yeah, the the one that's in with everyone. All three of the mists are beginning to look like they are starting to, like, loosely hold their form together. Many of the tendrils are falling off just as they're spawning around. These mists are not long for this world. Oh, question. Is the intent... Is there a short rest intent... soon? Just general consensus? Yes. No, I think after that we come back. Like, we need to recover uh, max HP. We're not fighting the hags with that, like that. We go back, and then we teleport to the hags because we can fight something like this, and then risk fighting the, hag the hags again, right? Do we have anything from outside of the hags' place? Because I don't even think we can teleport it. 
Yeah, there's probably no there's no probably no teleporting to the tower. We have no real means of doing so. We can, well, we can, we can finish the tower, though. We can finish like, our journey to the mill and then teleport back to Valaki and recover and then teleport back to the mill. Yeah, I think that's that works. Good, yeah. that works. Okay. I, if we make it resources Wait, back. we have dream pastries. Aren't they technically from the mill? They might be from inside the mill. That would put us inside the first level. <laughs> Damn it. Yes. Then I then Wait, will... we have the ashes. Search. We have the the ashes from the 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 place where the stuff was burned outside. We kept Good that point. for research. Uh, Sarisa has them. I think. So I mean, Sarisa, Eo uh, has everything. Sarisa has. Oh. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right, back to the combat. Fuck it, resources. Burn all the resources. Um, all right. So action surge, and I have advantage now. Yay! Shooty shooty. Um. Nice. Now also, just in case these don't hit, elven accuracy. Not that they matters. do actually hit. Um, so first attack will just be on this one. Let's see if it dies. It does. You annihilate the mist that fades out of existence. And then this will be on this one. And uh, also... Almost like a light piercing through the darkness, your arrows phase it out. Hey, yay! And like, high five Ava. <laughs> nice. A Ava is just really like... She, she, she looks kind of exhausted. Well, not exhausted, but like really focused, actually. And oh, I don't have more. So I'm now it's. Nice, dude. Okay, I cool still have uh, one thing to do. Because I can quicken spell that thing. So. If everyone else wants, I'll do my thing. Alright, so you quickened your slow, and what are you using your action for then? Um, action search has been used, so no more action search. I was. Hold on. I am going to just attack it with my sword. No, with my spear, sorry. Really? Oh, so you're, you're throwing your spear at it? No, uh, yeah. Well, no, I'll just walk up to it. I saw. Make your spear magic. Yes, it is. You to mention yes, support me. Spear smiting. Mm hmm. Your spear smiting. Deals three piercing damage to it. It's not that, um, you know, overwhelming or anything. Is, is that everybody's act? Is hmm? this a construct nope. uh... by any chance? <laughs> well, is this a? No, it is not a construct. I don't think so. Anyway, sorry. Um, is that everybody's action to- No, Cabal, you have yet to move, correct? We're gonna do Witch Bolt. POWER! <laughs> UNLIMITED POWER! And seven is like... not enough to connect with your unlimited power. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... It was flashy, though. Um, <laughs> that icon is slow, right? Yes. On shadows. I will whip the shadow that's right in my face. The is slow reduce the AC. Is this at, at advantage? I don't think slow makes things at advantage. Slow no, 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 no. My shadow of oil. Uh, yes. The shadow has previously shown that it needed size to see things. And it is whip for five okay. slashing damage. Whip it at 10 feet. So can I choose like this? I think it's whip it oh, back directly away from you. I don't think you get a choice exactly in how you do it. Okay, and that if that's the case then I'll stand over here so I can whip it diagonally upward so it doesn't end up Leo. And then I will whip Danadangi. Actually I'll just stand right here. And whip that one down. Which one? Uh, this one. 
I, I connect. Uh, you didn't roll the damage for it. Oh, sorry. And 10 slashing after that. I believe that is now everybody's move. The shadows up here, one of them will reach out toward you, Atreus. Uh -huh. <laughs> Missing. And the other one will similarly try reaching out for... Oh, no, they're not about Leopold. Uh, disadvantage, if that's an attack roll. It is an attack roll, and it is a disadvantage. That's 22 and 20. I connect. Leopold, you take 10 necrotic damage due to the resistance granted for the aura. However, okay. record down your strength somewhere as you currently have one less maximum. Okay. Hold on. Uh, let me roll out 1d20 and see if it actually goes through this turn. What is a, what is Leopold's armor class? 17? Okay. If it attempts to cast a spell... Oh, it's not a spell. Is it, is it a, not a spell? spell. Not, a tank. not a spell. It's just a tank. Okay. You know what? If, if the intention is uh, to rest up, I'm going to roll this d8. In that case, it if it's a four make... or higher, he's blocked. It blocked completely. Warding maneuver. Oh, you were uh, you were using it to. Is that the attack roll reduction? Yes, that's the. If it it boosts up his AC. If it's enough of, if it beats the the attack, if it it adds to his AC. If it beats up their the attack damage or the their their attack roll, he just takes no damage. Yep, works out. Wait, nice. I did. Thanks, dude. Was... It was were the strength drains on different shadows that were doing it? This one aimed at Atreus. This one aimed at Leopold. Okay. And this okay. one is moving forward. I whip it. Whip it good. Whip it good. Wow. It does not connect. Okay. Um, I have one more. Whip it. Hold on. Tunnel Fighter... Wait. It has not moved more than five feet within your reach. For Tunnel Fighter. It just hasn't moved. It moved oh, five feet, but it's not moved more than five feet within your reach. It has moved exactly uh, five feet. Tunnel Fighter is about them specifically. Five feet one inch. <laughs> it took a step too inch. far. <laughs> Dun dun dun. Alright, so, um, uh, then uh, the shadow will go ahead and aim one attack over onto Sonic. Or AC is... 16. <laughs> Barring something stopping it, you will take 13 necrotic damage. Minus 2d8, I think, from, from me. Interception is 1d10 plus 4. I think interception. Oh, I can't intercept. Forget that. I'm going to use my rage thing. It's 2d6. Six. 6 minus 6. I see the protected binding. Okay. So it reduces the damage by 6. So instead, uh, the damage was 21 and then 10. You only take 10 necrotic damage instead, and your strength score, your maximum strength is decreased by now. Ouch. Finally, the mist will attempt its best to get on top of everything. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stop it. Mm hmm uh, Oh, was your damage uh, I reduced it first because of resistance? Your thing if I miss. Since you, you make the speed uh, zero, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, our master used your opportunity attack, right? So the... Le Leopold would go first. Wait, what? Uh, Although the 13 is not enough to connect to its 15 AC. Uh, sorry, I'm still on advantage. Minus uh, 2 AC, 15. doesn't it? Oh, you're right. It does have minus 2 AC right now. Never mind, Leopold, it does connect. Wait, what's the Shadow's AC at the moment? It's well, minus 2 thanks to slow. Uh, what's hmm? the Shadow's AC before? It is 12 before. Oh, so, okay, that, damn, one off. 
Wait, can you go after me? Because since yours puts it as zero, it stops moving. Uh, I can, but will it? Will your is it your reach ten? Hmm. Yeah, my reach is ten. Your reach is here. Oh fuck. Okay. Ten. Yeah. All right, so the bindings connect onto it. Yeah, did no damage, I'm but you know, I don't need no damage. And then you stop its movement. Mhm. Mm and so you did. Meanwhile, the other two mists over there are just uh, still attempting to hassle Irina, who at this point has stopped swinging their sword entirely and just kind of is like looking at all of you and shrugging their shoulders. Sitting down. It's all your moves. Yeah. Anyone's gonna move there? This mist does not survive the uh, next couple of hits. This Oma one gets killed by Sonic. The fire bolts does not connect. <laughs> uh, where would you like to direct those other two glaive attacks? As the first one was enough to kill that shadow. Sonic? One second, I have my mathing. <laughs> math, 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 math. Find some of my more, some more of my movement. Uh, ah, that's fine. Never mind. Hmm. I'm fairly certain I read, I did the roll, but I guess it didn't go through. Oh, there it is. Okay, and then I'll attack the one um above me. Here's doing that. So first, the one above you will take... First, it might be potentially restrained. Let's see, it makes the deck save. Failing? No, it... Succeeds, actually. So it'll only take the five fire. No, it fails it's because it's slow. It's slow, yep. We love slow, woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a crusher in the next campaign. Yep, so that did manage to actually restrain it as it took the 11, full 11 fire damage. You get the advantage on a hit on it with those glaive attacks, which is enough to finish it off. As it just melts into the ground. What about the second one? Uh, the second one, it doesn't matter what it does. It does not have enough HP to survive. Um... Uh, the I jelly... Think are using my bonus action for... Um, and my... this one already died, right? This mist is still alive. Oh, so then also makes a, a roll to the fire breath. It's true. It does. We'll attempt. Hold on. It is not slowed anymore, however. So its dexterity is enough regardless to pass it. And it will only take five fire damage. I didn't think I would like this spell. But I like it. <laughs> amazing. Did my Do 9 I... hit? No, your 9 did not connect with its 15 AC. Alright, then I am providing emotional support to Cabal by firing at the same target as him. How much damage is that, Burf Open? Um... 4d6. Okay, roll for it. I'm so happy that Dragon Breath is buffed. It's so... Meh. Um, it's, right? a, it's, a, it's a deck save. Dexit. All right, hold on. Failing as your dragon's breath just dissipates the entire day. Wee. Yo, cheers for Sonic. Is All right, let's go aura... deal with the rest. Is your aura around you? No, I think that this should be a fairly quick to go through. Actually, if you all have enough ranged implements, you notice that they are not responding to the ranged attacks. They just keep on trying to pester Irina's location, attempting That's to fun. drain their life. Sure. Oh, really? I totally forgot about that one up there. Well, since I forgot about it, it doesn't exist. Oh. Good. <laughs> object permanence. Yep. We uh, you, can, you can unleash a flurry of ranged projectiles onto those two. I'm going to keep... Yo throws herself screaming into the mist. Are you actually going to throw yourself screaming into the mist? No. Okay. <laughs> I throw myself screaming to the edge of the mist. <laughs> I'm just going to keep throwing... Uh... Mind slivers. Mm -hmm. Mind slivers go out, and you typhoons just pierce, 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 pierce. As both of them eventually go down. 
some fire even manages to just torch up the mist themselves. We can use Irina to farm those. Just just let her walk around I, in the, the I latch room. onto Irina and give her a hug after it's over. Oh my gosh, you're okay! Uh, yes. They um, don't know how to respond. <laughs> you should enchant your weapon. Yes, I've been meaning to. Yeah, I we should just, do that. I never got any opportunity. Honestly? Uh, I feel like she has had many opportunities. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say here, hold on to this for now and give her my shitty spear. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Do you see them, uh, kind of trying to lift it up a little bit? Hmm. Hmm. The, hey, it's magical. I will hold on. It might come in handy. It's true. I'll keep it on hand in case we encounter more foes with immunity to these swords of mine. Or clouds. I'm gonna also blink at Will here to see if there's anything in the ethereal plane around this. Right. Blink into the ethereal plane in a fraction and look around, but there is nothing notable there except that it's the ethereal plane and it's always kind of greenish. Cool. Ooh. Pretty scary. The aura of life lasts for 10 more minutes, approximately. Okay. Dude, that was down. amazing. It saved the encounter. Holy like, shit, how did you manage to, to take that spell? That is so cool. That's actually one of those spells I always have prepared as a wildfire uh, druid. GG. Easy. So I don't even have to choose to take it. Uh, or I am like, going to... It just work. Can I uh, scavenge around for food materials? Oh god. Uh, yeah, you see uh, some uh, mist particles on the ground. Also, give me a second. I have to uh, change my headphones. Okay. Also, Nova is basically asleep now. Uh, oh god. Daniel. <laughs> if Ava, someone else can exploded. carry her, but she is basically just gonna like throw herself on the ground. Uh, Atreus is just gonna have head one and head two pick her up. <laughs> okay, that works. Usually Ava has to do the heavy lifting because it's just them and the party. I mean, Ava will go and do it out of habit, but then as soon as she sees that someone else is offering to do it, she'll just be like, oh. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I managed to connect my headphones back. We're good. We are Also, alive. Angarica could also help find some edible herbs with her herbalism kit knowledge. Just while Cabal's doing that. No. Angarica will point out which herbs can spare the few leaves. I think mm, if everyone's pretty worn out from that fight, now would be a pretty great time to try taking a short rest. In... Um, for as part of a short rest, Cabal will make some food. This time, he will make uh, thorny twigs with uh, topped with misty mushrooms on top. You know, I know you intended for that to sound good, but it doesn't. Um, sounds delicious, Angarica. <laughs> sure, Angarica would enjoy it. <laughs> ah. But Perhaps the, uh, shrink, the max HP loss that you experienced and the shrink loss from earlier as well, if y'all had any, have still persisted. It has not yet expired. Well, if it makes it sound uh, any more appetizing, it also has tiny uh, uh, grubs on it too. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it does not. I think Leo would have a good. Like, uh, what? Leo has what? Well, actually, it. hold on. If we're taking that short rest, I'm gonna use this first. I didn't get hit once. Well, so, either way. I'm like, oh, I'm a full HP, full strength, full everything. I'm yeah. fine. Uh, I got hit on my temp HP. I'm gonna use my blood thing. Wait, do we get restored uh, sorcery points on short rest? No, large sorcery points are on a long rest. Your okay. uh, the sorcery point item is the only one. I oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know where I'm putting the for that. Oh, that's so tragic. Oof. Let's see. You also do have good berries if you want that one HP. 
Wait, we all have at least one good berry? Correct. I have two as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my inventory. Better to have it, not forget it exists. They explode after 24 hours, though, so use it wisely. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Good berry. Alright, uh, if you are all finished, will you continue? Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go, like, here, pick something, and come back. Let's not get too close to the... I will... <sighs> sorcery? Okay, I see. I can use five sorcery points to gain a spell slot back, and then with my blood well vial, I guess I'll spend the hit dice for it to get my sorcery points back. I don't really need the HP, but I mean... Um, just want to double check, uh, how many points does uh, a level 4 spell cost? You mean like to restore your 4th level spell slot? Yeah, yeah. Um, according to Font of Magic, a 4th level spell would require 6 sorcery points. Okay, a third, then I will restore a 3rd level spell slot, because I only get 5. Yep, so that would be five sorcery points. Yep. Okay. I didn't even use any fort level spells. I don't know why I asked about that. Whatever, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I didn't use a fourth level spell. I only used third level spells. So I don't know why I asked about the fourth level spells a lot. I'm stupid, is what I'm saying. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Give me on. just one thing. Okay. Also, guys, if somebody can remember, I have advantage on initiative rolls and wisdom perception checks. So. Very cool. I shall proceed to not remember. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I got a sentinel shield because I have lightly armored and I wanted a high AC. So I got a shield. <laughs> That I'm using is uh, my spellcasting arcane focus. <laughs> nice. Hey, um, for the if if we lost strength temporarily, is that do we get it back yet or not? You have never seen it back yet. You have? I have not. No. Okay. Uh, when would a, would a long rest do the trick? Oh, yeah, you. We can find the out. shadows are common enemy types. You're pretty sure that yes, uh, it will return at that point. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's okay, I, I already don't use strength, so I'm not worried. I think a lot of us don't use strength, so... <laughs> I'm already at 7, Lamel. Atreus uses strength, but it's not like he's he's out there dealing damage right now. Leopold uses strength just to hit. But no damage either, so strength. Okay, Bob, so I'm um, right there, right? You you said you were getting about a little bit closer first, yes? Right here, like here. I think that's too close. I think I think here. The windmill is not super clear to see up at the mist on the top, but there it is, still not turning as usual. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's pick up a rock from the ground and then teleport to Valaki, take a rest and teleport back. And Garka picks up a rock from the ground and eats it. Do we? Okay, do we know Beautiful. for sure? Wait a second, a Kaval stops you from eating it and sprinkles some rock salt on it. <laughs> and Garka will nod politely and then continue to eat the rock. <laughs> We're flavoring rocks with rocks, God bless. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bread with uh, breadcrumbs on top. <laughs> but yeah, Avery will okay. make sure she gets something as well, just so she's sure. So, <clears throat> she'll just address the entire party and say, So, are we, are we heading back? Yes, sure. please. <laughs> so, let me see. Teleportation specifically just says that you just need an object on the ground, right? 
ship. No, or like or something there. from there. It's something from the location, yes. That'll give us the best chance of not failing. This is the same as the seventh level spell teleportation. Wow. Associated object, right? That's the. Yep. If you think this rock is strongly associated with the land that it's from, then it counts. Taken from the a desired destination within the last six months. Or a chunk of marble. Yep. If a book counts, a rock counts as well. You all, right, all so... aim your teleportation, right? You have three charges with this thing, right? Wait, hold on. There are nine of you, yes? Yeah. Exactly. Counting Irina. You can uh, only take eight people with teleportation. Plus, we one is nine total. Yeah, it's nine total. Yeah. You it's end up eight. to eight. Ah, nice. How convenient. <laughs> I mean, what's have to get us back? We're, uh... Okay. You're right, it is nine. Yeah. No, when Hefter comes back, we'll use the helm for other things. Like, we need to grab something from Valaki, we need to uh, send. Is Hafter less than 500 pounds? Hafter is not oh, an yeah, option. Hafter can get in my bag of holding. <laughs> yeah. That's mine. Yeah, we can put you in a bag of holding. Just do it. You would need to chop him up to the size to fit into the bag. That's not hard. He's durable. <laughs> I have greater restoration in a few levels. <laughs> a bag of holding is 2.5 by 2.5. My character can take. I could fit in a bag of holding, so I think it'll be yeah. fine. But you'll get all my stuff for it. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I'll dry it up after. <laughs> You're, magic you, moisture you can, you can just, just magical moisture just keeps on touching it. <laughs> okay, let me just check something. All right, so actually, hold on. Since you do have enough, you are you're attempting to teleport directly back to the inn. I'm assuming. Oh wait, we have to do it. We have to teleport to the entrance. The land right. is hollowed. The, it can't teleport. Uh, it can't link or whatever. That. Go um, to the entrance. Oh, okay. We would know that, I think. Yeah, uh, oh, that's why I was asking to double check, so I, don't, I would have told you otherwise. If mm -hmm. Irina has any spare stakes she made from her little camp, we could teleport to her camp. Yeah, I, I made my ritual on the outside of town too, so I have my, my bindings are from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, we've got things to teleport to, so cool. Options. You have your long rest and regain uh, some more of your things. Cabal, on your sheet, you have those negative three modifiers. Those now turn to a negative two instead. But you are all fully healed up. You regain any of your lost maximum strength and regain any of your lost maximum. Okay, let's teleport back. Zip, zip. If anything, zip, zip. I've lost my temp HP. Oh yeah, uh, Cabal, do you cook for us in the morning before we TP? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. this time... We're going to make you really put a lot up. Uh, Angarica would mention, after seeing everyone else eating twigs and rocks and grubs, she can eat normal food. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is eating rocks, though. <laughs> um, Yo, Yo would like to help Cabal cook, except she uh, likes to put sugar in everything. Leopold nods this one to the temporary <laughs> Yes. That's not as yes. delicious. Hey, Aqua. That is wise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we're basically taking went through like almost like half day to we to return back, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our long rest. Can I spend some of that time trying to teach uh, love and the uh, other spider the, the the values of independence? Yeah, go ahead and make three animal French uh, animal animal handling checks for each one. Three for each. Okay, so. Six total. The DC for Third. this will be extremely high. All right, this will be for love. These are R at advantage because they are charred by me. Holy those shit! Are, those are loves. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. And then this one will be for the other one, which apparently has no name. So these are still at advantage because it's charred by me. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, I was about to say, you, you had such a thing going. <laughs> <laughs> it was so close to uh, like getting a, so, so much, but the... Uh, oh, and your wild intuition is what adding that extra. You notice that um, uh, love actually uh, says a word for once, rather than just garbled nonsense sounds. Although, oh, man. the nameless spider does not. Hmm. All right. What what's the word love said? Lude. No food. Lude. I love it. Oh, food. Okay. <coughs> it's progress. Progress. Uh, Cabal makes um sweet and salty uh little uh mud crumpets with gravel chips. <laughs> a lot down. of uh, a lot Sit of woody down. and stone based things no. for um, uh, and Garga. How much temp hitch P is there? Thank you. I only need to do the one, thanks. Oops. That was This is rolled a negative three. <laughs> Are you it's eating the tray of cookies or the actual tray? <laughs> the cookies on the tray, why not? Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I've been in there for so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um if you if you attempt to eat the tray, you is going to attempt to pull it out of your mouth because she would like to be able to bake again. <laughs> And Garika would feel sad that she was not offered a tray to eat. <laughs> With her superior strength, we'll yank it away and break I it will, in half. And give some to Angarika. We'll attempt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get uh, what is it? What is it? nine. Nine uh, temper hit points. <laughs> For whoever, whoever ate to the, the mud pie, mud cookies. Oh, wait, we took a long rest, right? So I get all my strength back, right? Yep. Yes. Oh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I have to fix this. Wait, are there no. Oh, there we go. Oh, I... <laughs> cookies? Yeet. Yeah, if you eat the mud cookies. Oh, buy me another tray! Get nine I'll buy you one later. No! We're not anywhere to buy one now. This is back at Balaki Technic. <laughs> oh yeah, okay fine, you have another you have you obtained another tray. I have obtained another tray. I am now happy. <laughs> uh question Aqua before I make my spell preparations for the day. Mm hmm Uh this is another very metagame question, but I'm assuming we discussed previous uh, hag encounters. Does Earthbind work on creatures flying on Brooms of flying. That's what like, Earthbind is. Oh. Yeah, I put it. Yeah. Oh, how much temp HP did we get? Did we get any? Uh, yes, nine. we got. If you ate the mud cookies, you gained nine temporary hit points. No, because it's not the um uh, creature that gets the flying speed, it's the broom. Uh, unfortunately. I will have to prepare fireball instead. Any mage slayers? Wait, can't you can you affect the broom? With Brooms football? aren't creatures as far as I'm aware. Wait, if you grapple someone, do they just fall off the broom? Probably. You can try. If you can Wait, grapple you... and move them. Yeah, how does that if work? The person, if the person restrains... Yeah, you can move somebody off of from a fine. I think the... that... So I just grapple and then I just tug them off? Is that it? Use telekinetic to move them 15 feet. <laughs> I'll use... Speak with dead and speak with plants at the same time to talk to the wooden broom. And tell it to talk. <laughs> you could have uh, talked to your breakfast yesterday. Wait, you gotta speak with that. She... May be useful. Alright, uh, yes, we're here. I think. I don't know if okay, Drew would say I wanted to take that. Luna, 
sit down now. Actually, you'll have to go through this because there's the little hill right there. So actually, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let me go ahead and. Um, so... so you all head over to the mill. Let me go ahead and pull the map. Um, wait a second. I think half of the chat discussed this, but I don't think we talked about. It. Um, we were saying just to have one person go up to the hag. I guess the rest of the party can stay outside, and maybe like that one person can talk to them from like the entrance or something. All right, who would you like to we send in? To be all close together. We think we need to be all close together. So because... do you want the party to? be clumped but like at the entrance i think, I think that's uh, probably better just so that they know that it's us is. and not just some okay. random person yeah also for easy teleportation okay um just right before we knock on the door then i would like to well, hold on i thought we're gonna fight and first and then if things turn south we teleport yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna try and convince them about the to to just take the orbs and leave us alone mm -hmm. yeah that's, yeah, that's that's, 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 that's first that's one. Fun. Okay. See, what I'm worried about is, I'm worried. What I'm worried about is if they like take the orbs and don't leave us alone. What the? Well, we just we we just make a deal with them. They take the orbs and leave us alone. If they try, if they try anything else, I guess we can discuss it. But I'd rather them not get anything else from us because they already took a few people's hair, from what I remember. Hmm. I'm just gonna yep. cast uh, whatever this is. Again. Right before we knock on the door, so it's ready now to would go. be a good time to give yourself guidance. Somebody cast the quick save. I have guidance. <laughs> yeah, you are also getting oh. Eagle's Splendor from Enhance Ability. Oh, nice. I'm assuming that's going Eagle's Splendor. Okay, Charisma. Advantage on Charisma. Nice check. That's one okay. one spell that does all of that. No, it used to be like you have to prepare each one. Uh, the Gucci. Uh, right. you will walk up and knock on the door. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and bring you all to the map, and you can go ahead and place yourself approximately where you would be. Uh, another question I might ask, since I'm still trying to decide on my spell to prepare. Can you dispel magic on magic item? Dispel magic does not get to magic items, to my understanding. Hi. As, uh, who's going up to the door, you said? Uh, Eo. Are you taking uh, there for the help action as well? Am I taking what? Are you taking me? I'll take you. They don't know us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Wait, the news changed. Fuck it, I'm here too. This map? Oh god, everyone's yeah. just gonna show up then, huh? This map is different. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need to be all, all close together because... Wait, how how far can we uh how far does a person have to be for teleportation to work? Ten feet, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to be on Atreus's mount. I'm gonna I pull up know. below. Alright, so you all or the people right there head up to the door, right? And you're about to knock when a far a bit further off in the distance over here is where you hear Well, well, well. If it isn't the little thieves. What are you Where? doing here? Oh, I did. Uh, I forgot to put Irene. So you would, would you request for Irene to be with you? Yes. Probably get in okay. trouble. Yes. Uh, Eo's gonna probably run Just... forward as much as she safely can and still be with the party. And she gets right about there. Or God goes, stop! Not a step closer! What I'm do you wait. want? Yay. Hi, I'm Eo! And she proceeds to announce herself with her full title. I do not care! <laughs> what do you want? She'll keep talking and she'll go, Hi! Um, so, I, I don't really know you, but I made some friends recently and they said that they accidentally ended up with these, um, orb thingies? And they belong to you, so I was just wondering if you, like, uh, wanted them back and then maybe you could just maybe leave us alone, you know? Because I like to go around Barovia and like see all the sights, but I, I can't do that if you're um, haunting us when we're sleeping. So you steal my things? 
and you come um, back and tell I, me. I didn't steal your things, ma'am. I do not care whether it was you or not. What matters is mine, which is rightful, has been taken. And to then return back and say, Oh, it's okay, Granny Morganta. We will just give you everything back. No. Um, yeah, because huh? we didn't take them. <laughs> then, all I would like is one thing from you in exchange for the time that we have gone without our precious orbs. Just a lock of hair. Or perhaps in your case, a little bit of skin. Nothing much, just a sliver would do. Uh, it's just like, so I knew they we, were gonna do we this. We accepted this, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, so, we did yeah. accept that. Pretty much no one was doing it either. Yeah. I That's never... all. It is like interest. And it is in your best interest, too. I knew you were on the way. You devious um, scoundrels. Can I blink really mm -hmm. quick here to see what's going on in the ethereum? You attempt to blink and it fails. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, damn I can't close my eyes. Granny <laughs> Morganta, I... I want, before any of this happens, I want that... I want that you know we we didn't we do not want this to happen because after we if we fight and if we die you just get the orbs and some vengeance if we survive and we come back to the city and we can. And the people that are under Strahd's tutelage come back for the from the party for the party. We prepare and we come back. There's no reason to do this. Maybe, maybe you will kill us. But maybe you won't. You didn't live this long by being careless. Will you take the chance? Make a persuasion check at disadvantage. That's fine. Help action, help action. Please help, help action, like, to, like you're helping persuade also? Uh, yeah, sure. Enthusiastic nodding. Enthusiastic nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Enthusiastic, uh, just looking cute. <laughs> that's a 12 then? Well, Six. with the help action, it would have been your first roll. Mm hmm? It would have been the 16. 16. <laughs> You're right about one thing. It is only by being clever that we have survived for so long here. Now, are you going to return my orbs with a little bit of interest? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's what I thought you would say. I, uh, As... wait, can I make an, wait, can I make an action before before uh, we say no? What would you like to try? I, I, he was probably going to fly at her and attack her. Wait, no, hold, wait. No, yeah, if, 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 they are ready, what? as in, like, they at no point here are they already surprised. If you are ready to go, they are ready to go, too, and that's the rolling okay. for okay. initiative. Well, uh, yeah. not, not yet. Um, Cabal, Cabal pulls out one of the orbs. Uh, uh, he says. Then will you have them or not? What was it? What did Cabal say? He asked, he asked them if they'll, they'll have it or not. Yes, all of them, and a little bit more, for the time that we've had to waste making some more. Well, if we have to fight, then maybe we just break them and end it? Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to do. I, I throw it <laughs> on the ground and stomp on it. Alright, you do, as uh, initiative does get rolled for this. Okay, just um, throw I'm all not... of them on the ground before anything. <laughs> right. Just just break them all on the bag before anything you happens. You don't have to break all of them, just break one. Yeah, just, just the one I stomp on my foot. 
I have a yeah, tank just break initiative. some more just to Hold on. Drive the control. Hold on. Before I'm, uh, you put that on the initiative, I have to clear it out each time. Oh. We good to go? Yes, there it is. It's been cleared out. Please continue. To... Uh, so wait, do we roll again or just take the previous roll? Uh, you can change it to the previous one in this case, because that wasn't <laughs> like your, your fault and not does... like clicking appropriately. But I want I my higher roll now. <laughs> I'll tell you to the side. Uh, it's um, kind of hard to have advantage on the initiative because it rolls this whatever is the yeah. most so... recent. So I just think... No, you can change oh. it inside the uh, gear. In the gear, you can change yeah, it. Yeah, I do. Oh, just in case Nova was in fact on top of head one, head two, uh, Atreus just notifies them that unfortunately combat will probably not be better if they're on the right, same mount. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I, I'm not on the mount anymore. Okay. Just a quick question. Next to Arena. Hmm? Is there any cover nearby? Because I feel like while, while this has been going on, like, Abe would have probably looked for some place to stand where there's some either half or, you know, some cover available. Right here. Cover? Uh, this place is fairly flat. Like, outside of the little areas that's like, any kind of gently slope, there is not much around. Final destination. Be uh, like also, it. do I have an opportunity to activate the Bulwark of Agathus? Hmm? As um, breaking. you would have had to do that at some point earlier today, but presumably you did. Uh, it okay. lasts for 24 hours, so there's not reason not to, if you can. Sure, and also everyone would have a good berry, and I would have to. Okay. okay, then, uh, there is one other thing that is about to happen. And actually, after this, I'll have to ask it something. Give me a second. Should I prepare the next room? I'm done. Pause. You cannot prepare- basically, initiative is everybody preparing actions against each other. No, but like, uh, we weren't fighting, but it, but can't I say, uh, like, have my wand drawn and say immediately if, if she does anything aggressive, I'm starting by shooting them? No, it's the same thing as what Jay just said. Basically, fighting yeah, initiative yeah, okay, okay. is basically That's everyone fine. prepping the action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or like when initiative is rolled, that is everybody saying we are ready for each other. Morganta was ready for you, you were ready for Morganta. Okay. And then at that point, right, how do we resolve that? We resolve that by rolling for initiative to see who's ready to actions go off. That's fair, um, that's fair. The following things are what you all notice. Hold on, give me a second. I do one last <sighs> quick thing. A 10 billion lips of here, and they'll cast power word kill. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. No. <laughs> I just believe this. MB, MB. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, the following is what you all notice happen. Rising up from the, from, uh, from the shadows around the area, especially in these dark shadowy parts right here, you see this a Wait. rise up. Rise up. Oh no. Uh, it's darkly oh, opaque. Oh, they oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see where this is going. Oh, it's because you gave them the hair. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, it's oh, okay, I'm man. useless. Yep. Hey. <laughs> it's just like, hmm. This is an odd feeling to be seeing myself like this. Like, they, they can't do damage, right? <laughs> My clones can't do damage. They have no weapons that do damage. <laughs> they each pull out a gun. Um, so, wait, is he on and, a broom or he just wanted to? Uh, they're just on the full ground over, all the way over there, but before yeah, uh, we begin anything, here's the last thing that you see before I'll ask something. Eva, you are the first one who probably sees this. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What up, oh, yo? no. Oh, no. Fully oh, no. fashioned in armor. Wait. Head to toe. Did he completely covered, wordlessly, rising up from the shadows as well. You know, the music cut off right at a pretty good yeah, point Yeah, it really there. did. <laughs> <laughs> you see Fenrir. <laughs> Raz, do you remember if I asked you if you wanted the body actually in the ground? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I remember. <laughs> Atreus looks at Fenrir. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. All right, so uh, here's the thing. 
We are actually very close to the end of the session. I do not think there is enough time for this entire combat. So we should probably just reserve this for next time. That's fine. Um, we this. could go back to Falak and y'all can goof off for like 15 minutes before this. <laughs> okay, no problem. Wait, uh, I just had one quick question. So you said they mm -hmm. were they're just standing on the grass? Hmm? Morganta? Yes, Morganta was just standing on the grass. Uh, last time we saw them, were they riding rooms or were they like flying slash levitating or whatever, like using some magic to fly? Last they time were they just flying. Them. Okay, so they didn't have any rooms with them. They didn't have any rooms with them. Okay, I guess. Okay, I was worried about like oh, rooms okay. and how it would work, but okay. Uh -huh. Well, that's the case. I wonder, I wonder if that, that like, they spent the hairs to do that and we teleport away. <laughs> And then come back and they know haven't. Leopold, you are actually pretty high on the initiative, aren't you? Would you like to attempt to teleport? Leopold does not have the helmet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Ava not... has the helmet. Has the helmet. Yeah. Ava, you're you're pretty high up on the initiative too. You can just run to the to the the the, the party. We can just teleport away. And but there's uh, no the, point. They're just gonna follow us anyways. You might as well I mean, finish no this here now. Out because uh, whoever Nova tried to cast Blink. Yeah. I tried oh. to cast Blink. Then you I'm also must be within ten feet of everyone you want to teleport. Yeah. yeah no, we we fight this. We fight this. Oh, yeah. like, well, also, like um, e even even if like she could teleport, you know her uh, the, yeah. the the reason for her coming to Barovia has just turned up in the ground. The night after she has been given, like, an engagement ring from uh, Andraste, who picked up from Fenrir's corpse, so she's probably not leaving. Yeah, I, I, I think we fight this. I thought, I thought like we could, we could buy some time, giving the orbs back, buy some reprieve, prepare more, but yeah, we we'll kill those bitches. But before we tell you that story, we have to tell you this story. You're all back at Balaki from when you came back earlier. Yep. Uh, you both you... wakes up, wakes up like, <gasps> I just had the craziest dream. I know what's going to happen. <laughs> but no one will listen. Let's see. Uh, if that's the case, if that's before this event, Atreus will probably be like out here somewhere with both uh, Giant Spider and Love. Uh, Leopold will be buying Arrows of Slaying for Ava as a gift that has nothing to do with the <laughs> with the the bitch of the, the witches. A friendly face fighter I could think about on by. <laughs> <laughs> well truly <laughs> never good fighter. <laughs> you know what? Sure. If it, if it's if it's trotting up being all friendly and stuff. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, I think Eo would totally like to watch what he is doing. He pets her. Um, that's wisdom save. <laughs> ah. oh. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> fails. It. It's just friendly, right? Like it just kind of walked out, w walked out from. Like, the, do you know there's a nest around here with them? But it was just like walking by after it, it noticed some spiders around. Well, hold up, hold up. Is, is this one mentally controlled, like love and uh and a giant spider? You see it just uh, gesturing out in like various different ways at the uh, other giant spider, and it's conf it looks confused on why the uh, giant spider is not responding at all. Oh, okay. So, uh, yep. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my primal connection to cast a free, uh, speak with animals. Hey, welcome to the. Hey, welcome aboard. Trying to help these guys uh, uh learn a bit of independence. What's your name? My friend spiders with you. Translate. Uh, they said, <laughs> "Why strange spiders with you?" And I'll just talk normally, but that's basically what they sound like with this very gurgly like accent. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I don't believe you can have two bracers. That's it. Bracers are set. Yeah, thought so. Um. <laughs> the the face spider simply seems to be wondering why there are so many uh spiders with you. Well, actually, I am uh <clears throat> I'm on a quest to gather as much as um, as much stuff as I can at this time. I'm going to be leaving this land. 
You want to be? A, you want to want to come with? I can uh, beat you pretty good. You. So, yeah, they it doesn't take any even persuasion roll. Is it our food? Oh yeah, plenty. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, and can I have your name? What do you call mm -hmm. you? Let's see, a good name for face. Daisy. <laughs> oh, oh, you can call them Blink. Blink. Oh, Blink would be pretty good actually, but it has he, it's not it's not appropriate unless they make them their own name. Mm. What is his name? What do you do? I you just kind of <laughs> use it opens and like looks at its feet. It like looks at, looks around at the trees. I. Spider. <laughs> you at least know yourself as a spider, huh? Mm. What what do you, what do you think of when you, or, uh, what's a good way of putting it? What's something that, when uh, you want others to call you, what, what do you do they want to fear from you? Food over here. Food over here, is what he said. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, like, hmm, I guess I'm having a difficult time com coming up with the concept of a name to this thing. You, uh, you're, you're, you're proficient in nature, right? Or... Uh, no, he is not. He's proficient well, in animal handling, but not in nature. I guess animal handling pretty... would be good enough for this. Uh, animals have a difficult time with the concept of a name unless they've been already named previously. Yeah. So. Uh, He's he's gonna he's gonna point at himself and say Atreus, and he's gonna point at the the big spider, Love. and then he's gonna point at them. They they they, they look uh, make a make a what check would that be? Let's create charisma. I guess it would be charisma. Is that an advantage too? Because it's charmed. That's what charm does. Yeah. Yeah. 11. Mm -hmm. Name it something. Mm. It, it just shakes its head. It doesn't seem to understand. Well, I mean, that's fine. If you can't come up with your own name, I'll just call it, give you a name for now. He's going to point to them and call you Blink. Oh. Wait. Uh, you see their oh, eyes. Oh, goes with Blinksy. Blinksy. Speaking has of Blinksy, eyes. actually, I Blinksy know, may I... have some. If somebody will visit Blinksky, they actually have something that they would be able to say. Uh, okay, I'll go to Blinksky. If toys right. are involved, I think EO would love that. <laughs> I have a uh, question. Just... Is Irina back at her camp? Yes, Irina's just back at her encampment. This is uh, the previous night before, so they don't seem to go back into the city. Um, if okay, Andy I, I... is okay with... Oh, sorry. So, it's okay. I was just gonna say, I'll go over to Irina <laughs> and talk to her about enchanting her sword. Oh, okay. We'll do that after, right after this uh, Blinksky thing then, since yeah, it won't take long. Mm -hmm. Uh, two people head over to Blinksky, and as oh, you I'm enter not, into the I'm store... Drag Angie with me if she's willing. Yeah, she's willing if it's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but while toys. It's outside, I want to gather various insects to put in my bag. <laughs> you get there, and as usual, as, you, as soon as you enter the store, Blinksky goes, Welcome, friends, to the house of Blinksky. Our happiness and smiles can be bought at bargain prices. They're once again just closing their eyes, trying to remember this whole thing. Or have you know a little child in need of joy? A little boy. Or a girl or boy. Oh! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> Winksky, remember you. I literally you are very love nice to you. So good. Not to I mean, see you. Oh. She shoots off her entire title again. <laughs> <laughs> Little squishy jelly Winksky think oh very interesting make toy like you on the Oh my god that'd be so cool Angarka oh. sort of faces around the shop looking at things but not touching. Eo is bouncing up and down in excitement. Right. Uh they look over to Leopold. Oh Winksky heard there is village to east and after you help Winksy, Winksy need one more thing Winksy would like. 
We can make a new toy. Uh, you see them pull out another exquisitely crafted wooden figurine. It is vaguely coffin shaped. Uh, and it has a little, um, uh, like a little twisty spring thing on it. Like one of the, uh... Oh, is it a jack in a box? It's like a jack in a box, yes. <laughs> try, try, Ooh, try, you can do work hard on good toy. I, uh, I try to, I try it. Alright, you twist and twist, and then you let it go, and then like two seconds later, bleh, a pop-up straw puppet pops out of it. <laughs> I love it. I, I I pretend to be surprised, like <gasps> Yes, this is you think that is excitement for for little boys and little girls. So Winky think you bring this to a little east village and make Winksky happy. And Winksky have thing to give. Uh Winksky like digs around and they pull out a sack of money. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Leo, how does he, Leo how does he profit? smiles. <laughs> yeah, right? This, these Leo, don't sound like Leo very fiscal responsi says... fiscally responsible choices to be giving out merchandise. I mean, what what is his margin here? <laughs> while, while we've been away, every single person from the encampment from the day before, they came and bought stuff. So we, we want to accept this? Don't want to decide it myself. Take it. We need money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, we I think you know, just confused, mm -hmm. but okay. I would, out of character, like to vote that we take it. <laughs> mm. I, uh, I would be very glad to do so. Oh, we Blinksky's would... so happy! Here you go. Uh, Blinksky gives you the bag of cash. It has a uh, so very solid... Uh, and very convenient, 4,500 GP, which is enough to divide amongst all the players. <laughs> wow! Wow! So much? By 500, I think. Yep, 500 each. Oh, all the gold I spent on the... Yeah, all the gold you spent on the helmet. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I didn't need to change my couch sheet. Just leave it. He, he, he gave Thank us you for a... doing Blinsky <laughs> favor. Thank you for being good, Blinsky. Uh... We... I think I think we can't just take the the toy with us right now, right? Because uh, we're going to fight the hags. So, uh, I think we take the the. I don't think the... You're have a bearing on the hag fight if you wanted to take the toy. Hmm? Yeah. Well, you could put it in my bag of holding if you wanted it somewhere yeah. safe. Yeah, bag of holding too. You can put it in there. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's fair. I'm not gonna put my bag of holding in Neo's bag of holding. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, meanwhile, over at the bottom left, the Nova, you see Irina there at the camp, and it's your first time, Nova. Oh, I guess it's not. Is it your first time being at the camp seeing Irina sharpening a steak? First time, yeah. Nova right. has pretty much only slept the entire time in Vallaki. <laughs> yeah, uh, unless you're you, uh... by yourself, I would probably follow you. Hmm? That's fine. Correct, Sonic. Uh, that's what Eo said is correct. Um, Nova, you head over there along with Ava, and you see Irina there. Oh, Ava! And, um, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm not quite so familiar. I don't believe we've gotten to speak much. I didn't know we yeah. spent the day. And you have my spear. I'm Nova. Yes, Nova, thank you. Um, uh, I've been trying to train with it a little bit. It how do you like it? It resembles a steak. It resembles a steak in many ways. Although not quite the same sense of comfort, it will be useful to have something that can actually hit some of these annoying creatures. Yeah, the only problem is that it's just a tiny spear, and I see you're wielding much better swords. Which we should enchant, like, now, if you want to come with me. Uh, I'm fairly claustrophobic, I'd rather avoid going anywhere into the city, but... Uh, you see them pull out both of their great swords. These I've had these for a while, but I have been intending to replace them. But I, I guess as a personal matter, I've just not taken any money. Feel odd saying that. <laughs> oh, I'll give you all my money. We can enchant them together. Do you have a way of enchanting them? Um, I 
don't know, but I'll, sh I'll be sure to uh, find someone in town. But would you like me to take your swords and see if I can find someone to that can do it? Uh, I would be appreciative of that. Uh, they hand both the swords over to you. Know what you said your name was. I appreciate Nova? the hospitality. I appreciate your hospitality. I'm your guest. <laughs> Irina just laughs. I'll kind of send a butterfly her way and it'll boop her nose. Oh. You seem to instinctively were about to slap it. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I heard. You see, Strahd uh, looks through the eyes of animals, I'm fairly certain. So I'm instinctually inclined to. Uh, you see them like pull up their hand crossbow and just auto instinctually just aim it into a bush, and you hear the sounds of a dying creature. Um, Bad habits. Good habits, perhaps, actually. Since no Dying habits. Uh, Noah's insects can kind of transform. Um, I will make that butterfly transform into a, like a small white rose in her hand. Oh, well, this is more comforting. You're very kind. Thank you. You're kind as well. I'll see what I can do with these swords. I'll just kind of go back in town. Leave her alone. How could I grab those creepy crawlies? Yes, uh, you managed to find the creep crawlies without issue, Angarga. What did you say? Oh, I was say Ava would give you five hundred gold towards it if you're gonna um, enchant both yeah. of them. But she'll 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 stay with Arena just just because she's given away two of her great swords, so you know, mm -hmm. protect. Um, oh, where you. in town would there be someone that can enchant them? Maybe the church guy. You would have to essentially just purchase a whole plus one great sword. That's fine. Uh, how much is it? 500g. Mm. Okay. So 1,000 for a pair. Oh, I'll spend 500 of mine and 500 of uh, Ava's to get two plus one great swords. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they're inside the uh, forest. Uh -oh. I'll mark off my sheet. You have a kind compatriot there. How long have you known each other? Uh, that's a good question. I can't quite remember in my uh, out of character. I can't remember. <laughs> um, don't say a child for like a year or something. I, I don't recall that, that, but we'll say 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 long long enough to be good friends, whatever may be appropriate. Mm -hmm. To be to be decided. That is very kind. And they seem to know a lot about magic. Well, that is a silly thing to say. They've been casting spells. <laughs> I aim at someone just like forces a smile at the mention of magic. Yes, yeah, she she deals with the magic uh, side of things. I'm <laughs> much more. And she just shoots an arrow into a tree. Non magic. I sympathize with that. I've no talent for the arcane myself. Never so much as casted a spell before. Never really been interested either. Feels like magic has been a ruination of several aspects of my own personal life. <laughs> I say that, and yet uh, you see Irina uh, like placed her hand over where their amulet is, or the uh, carry app specifically. Mm. This has kept me safe from so much. It's a bit uh, hypocritical, I'd say. Mm. Oh yeah, just, just. I mean, I guess just, just for the record, because I think you did say, you know, unless you explicitly say knowledge is shared, Ava won't share the bit about the about the amulet, arena. Mm. I actually have a picture of it. Go ahead and take a picture. Uh, but yeah, um, Ava will just say magic is a tool neither good nor bad, but we often end up seeing both sides. This is the peri app that Ava saw before. Ooh, pretty. Okay, uh, Nova will come literally flying without the bottom half of her body until she, like, actually stomps on the ground back next to them and form her body again. <laughs> 
and then Spooky. she'll pull out she'll pull out two great swords very like in a very difficult matter like she's like kind of dragging them because they're really heavy for her and like drop them next to uh what do you call it <laughs> arena and like there you go two brand new great swords arena picks up the picks up the sword is this a brand new sword it is I wow I you actually see they tear up a little. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> I'll kind of like get some strings and jewelry that uh, Nova's wearing and kind of like tie it around the handle so that it looks pretty. I I'll mean, she already, a... she oh, already, she would already have done that beforehand. Hmm. Like what? Well, when she was giving them to her, they would be there. Like a little bow or something. <laughs> yeah. Irina's fingers go over it and you see them like kind of like holding the sword around, lightly swinging it around with their wrist twisting to kind of get a feel for its weight. Wow, I can see why they like this. It simply feels stronger in my hand. Yeah. I think this will do you a lot of good in these fights. As for the rest and, of the party, oh sorry. And if if you don't need that spear, uh, can I have it back? It's my only <laughs> weapon. Yeah, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I kind of want it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laughs all around there as Irina gives you back your spear. Back over at the party. Any last things before we end off on the session? Uh, I think um, we fought some really tough guys, you know, and we haven't leveled for a while, and I think that's a good place to do it. You mean right after the mist? Yeah. So basically, you're asking if we got a level after fighting the mist. If, if, if yeah. I fight clouds. No, not only. I think not we get a level mist. every two sessions, which is the session to be getting a level. We didn't. We didn't fight anything for the past two sessions. So the. Yeah, but it's not just about fighting. We did the quest. We found found the the. I always forget the name of the the the, the race, the guys that the. the Vastani. Vastaya. 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 Yeah, the Vastani camp. We did the, we did the quest for for Blinsky, you know. We survived the, the, the trip. We negotiated. We did a we did a lot of stuff. We did a lot of stuff. And 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 we had a this this fight that was pretty tough. So you know maybe two sessions, one level, I, I think that's fine. Hold on, I'm uh, liberating with something. So, that would have been a very lethal encounter. Uh, the strength stuff, like Angarica, two hits from those shadows would have killed her. <gasps> yeah. Right? Because shadows are you okay? deadly. Shadows aren't, yeah. aren't something to mess around with. Wait, two, shadow two with hits would have killed you? What do you mean? Uh, because they drain strength, when you ro when you reach zero in a stat like strength, dex, con, etc., you die. Isn't it only? I Wait, really? Some... It is. It is just like that. Yep. Oh, I did not know this. So by having only six strength, and it would have been a one d four each time. Two hits could have just. I think the people. only exception is intelligence. I think you just literally just become. A you become husk. a vegetable. Yeah, you dead. Yeah, you become a vegetable, but you don't. You're not technically dead. Yeah. You've been way worse before. Wait, what about charisma? Wouldn't, wouldn't you just be ugly? Actually, there okay. is some, some of them for charisma. Let me, let me tell you a story. I, just, I don't tell you remember story what happens what to you. actually though. happens. Once there was a very ugly barnacle. He was so <laughs> oh, no. ugly that he died. The end. The end. <laughs> yeah. I knew. I, I figured this was close. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. After, after some deliberation, yeah, you should be okay. Everyone levels up to eight. Yes! 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 That's so good for a roleplay. Nice. I needed the. the <laughs>